Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and we will try to make our video short for today. We will try. Uh, you know, I said in comment and I said in videos many a time that Christians who debate Muslims do not know how to debate. And the reason I say that because most of the Christians when they debate Muslims they think they are going to debate a Muslim. They think they are going to debate a Muslim. And a Muslim mean is somebody is a believer. And a believer is an honest person. Because simply this is what people assume. You are talking to somebody, he grew a beard. Somebody he claimed that he is defending the faith. So he has faith for sure. So this is the first mistake all Christians who debate Muslims, if we can call it a debate, they do. And we will go back to this point. But you will notice something very common, that all the Muhammadan, they are desperate to talk to someone who do not know Islam and who do not know Arabic. Desperate. Turn the camera off. Did this potato dare to even speak to me? Do he dare even to let me call him? No. They ask Shabir Ali, when you are going to debate Christian Prince? When that will happen? Yeah, he said, uh, you know, uh, 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 you, know can, you can watch the video. He will never debate me. But Shabir Ali, he is willing to debate David Wood. He is willing to debate Anthony Roger. He is willing to debate every Christian as long as he don't speak Arabic. And the list goes on. All those who claim to be debaters, they will not dare to get close to me. <clears throat> so what is the secret? Why do they want to debate somebody who have a blue eyes and he's blonde American who do not know anything about Islam? Why they are lined up to debate uh, David Wood? Now, notice here, I'm not trying to put anyone down, but I'm stating a fact. When Mimi Hijab, he was debating David Wood, if we can call it a debate, every single moment he made a lie. In every single moment, it's not like it is a, in the whole debate was there is two lies, there is one lie, there is ten lies. I mean, the whole debate is a chain of lies. But uh, David, he did not really do a good job getting him busted with his lies. Mimi Hijab was mocking him, even not knowing Arabic and not knowing English, not knowing Hebrew, sorry. <laughs> and you know, Elijah, I mean, God is with us. Not a single Jew who don't believe in the Trinity. I don't believe in the oneness of God, but the Quran says that Jews believe in Hosea. I mean, I had to make 10 videos, maybe more, to get hijab busted with every lies he did, most of them actually. I mean, they are endless, and this is why hijab, he got so upset from my videos, because Muslims, they thought that he won the debate. In fact, the debate, it was a horrible for Islam. The guy, he slaughtered Islam. But the one who slaughtered Islam is not David Wood, it was Mimi Hijab, the Tate boy. But still, Muhammadan they believed in searching in somehow that the one who made the good argument it was their boy. And this is why this street boy he became famous because of David Wood. You know, he did not really did the right thing. Uh, he did not get him busted in the moment. I mean, after you go home, you make videos to get him busted with his lies. Where you been in the stage? How come you did not do it when you are in the stage? So this is what I notice about Muslims. And again, I'm not putting down anyone, but you go and you check. Each time the Muslim did debate the Christians, I have to go and make 10 videos to get the Muslim busted, which means the Christians, they are not ready and occupied with knowledge, and they are not skilled in debating Muslims. 
The first thing when you debate a Muslim, you need to know that he is going to lie because Islam without lies dies. So you are going to be ready for a liar, not a debater. There's no debate in the debate. There's no debate. Nobody there is debating you. The stage there is full of liars and the one who is supporting him, they are liars too. Just yesterday, we showed you the video of Zakir Naik, go watch it, saying there's nowhere in the Quran and nowhere in Muslim believe that the earth, the whole earth is covered. Correct? But this is not a true. Even the Quran says that the son of uh, uh, Noah, he took the high mountain to, to hide himself from the, from the flood, but then the flood took him, which means it was higher than any mountain in this earth. And even the tafsir says it clearly that even the, the, the waves was 80 miles higher, 80 miles. And this is the Ibn Kathir, you can go watch it. We just showed it yesterday. Same as did that, he was debating a Christian in the stage, and he was saying to him, in your, in your Bible, in your Bible, God, he created the sun in Wednesday, so the earth was in dark for four days, the same as Zach and Nag. They copy each other. But this is what Muhammad told. So what is missing here that we do not know, have knowledge in the religion of Islam, and Muslim they choose carefully, they are going to debate who. Now, why I say that Muslims avoid debating Arab Christians. Because an Arab Christian is a, somebody, he have no limit in how much he will know about Islam. You know what I mean? A person who is not Arab, he do not know Arabic, they will say to him, it doesn't say that, uh, actually, I speak Arabic and they say to me, it doesn't say that CP. <laughs> I speak Arabic and this is my first language. I, I'm born speaking this language, you know, since I was like, you know, the, the first word you did, uh, you, you know, like you learn how to say mommy and daddy, whatever, you know. I mean, this is the language I learned all my life. This is the, this is the language I got my degrees in Islam up, uh, with it. Yet they say Christian prince don't speak Arabic. Or some even they say don't, he don't speak Arabic. What a question for all the Muhammadan and to the Christians. Why those people don't line up to debate me? Why all of them, they say, Mimi Hijab, he said to the Muslims, who you want me to debate next? Because now he felt like is he have a victory with David Wood. This is how he felt. And then I made videos. I made him shish kebab with his lies. I mean, it's a joke. This guy, not only he made fun of Muhammad, he made fun of everyone who follow Muhammad. Go watch my videos about the debate with David Wood. This debate actually is priceless. This is why he don't dare. And you notice then the, the Muslim, they say to him, they debate Christian prince, Christian prince, he is making a lot of Muslim in Islam. Did he debate me? The coward, he did not. I called more than seven or eight times in less than 15 minutes. He kept hanging on me and he did not let me even speak. Hang up on him, hang up on him, bastard. Coward, son of Muta, the tit boy. So why they want to debate people who don't speak Arabic? Because we have no limit in how much we will know, or how much we know, and how much we will surprise them with. And a person like me, my you know reputation and speed me. They knew already what they are going to face. And you will notice all of them, they say one thing. I want to debate you, but face to face. I'm willing to go to America to debate you, okay? Like this guy, you know, do you remember the video he made? I have no problem to debate Christian Prince, but this is not me who called him. And you know, I wanted to debate him face to face. <laughs> they will not let me call them, and they will not call me. They will debate me only face to face, but they debate in the internet with everybody, including David Wood and etc. So why only me, they say and they make a condition face to face?
Yeah, actually, Mimi Hijab. Yes, you see that. You see that. You see how 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 filthy those people are. They let me t talk, and they put the the computer in the other side of the room, so people will not hear what I am saying. They will hear only Mimi Hijab. <laughs> And they did not let me, let me talk. Christian Prince, did you say, uh, po, po, uh, Christian Prince, Christian, hold on, Christian Prince, did you say to this woman, suckle me? But this is the debate. Yes, I said to her, suckle me, because she said Jesus was playing with his mother boobs. I did not, I mean, in the video, I said to him, yes, I was quoting your stupid prophet. <laughs> and then not long after, he was going around making fun of Muslim Sheikh, saying to him, I can I suck your wife to tits? And not only that, he made videos saying, a Christian uh, sexual predator. Sexual predator, imagine. So those cowards, they have a lot of anger because of me. They have a personal anger because I made them shish kebab. While the Christians, they made them famous. This guy, he nobody know him. He's a street boy. He's a savage. He's a low class. He go around posting pictures of women, wife of somebody, even Muslims. Very trashy people. Who made them famous? You have the answer. So, when I say facts, I'm not putting anyone down. There's only one person, I say he do a great job when he debate Muslims. That is Sam Shamoon. But Sam Shamoon, and this is my advice to him, he shall not accept to debate Muslims in the other channels. Because what those Christians they do, I can show you tons of those funny debates. In order to show that they are not taken aside, they let the Muslims control the debate. There is no control for the topic, yet they think there is a topic. So why you make a topic if there is no topic? The Muslim, he can talk about everything. He is jumping like from window to window to branch to branch. And the moderator of the debate, which is, in, in, you know, like, if you remember the debate between Sam and there is a guy, I, I forgot his name, Sheikh, I don't know if he's from Pakistan, you know, that guy, he's all over the Bible, all over the place, jumping like a monkey. And David Wood did not say a word, stop, man, what are you talking about? Where is the word topic? And then he gave him the microphone 15, 20 minutes, talking all those things, attacking the Bible. Now Sam Shamun here, five minutes to answer. What kind of debate this debate is? So, they do not know how to debate. They do not know how to run a debate. And they do not know that a Muslim is not a person who promised something and he keeps his promise. They don't. For them, war is deception. And they are in war with non-Muslims. So, if Sam Shamu want to debate a Muslim, debate him in your channel. And don't do the five-minute thing. Never. This is the, let us say, uh, the Vaseline of a Muslim, so nobody can grab him. Five minutes, 15 minutes for you closing. What is closing? What is this garbage? If you remember, last time we saw a debate, it was not long a time ago, between uh, Shabir Ali and Anthony Roger. What the condition of the debate? Anyone remember? Quran only. Salvation. Quran only. <laughs> okay. Why in the world Anthony Roja will accept such a condition? And why we don't ask ourselves? Why Shabir Ali, he don't want anything but Quran only? There is something fishy there. So by accepting only Quran, you accept it that he strip you from 97% of the weapon you will use against Islam. So why you do that? I'm not saying he did not do a good job. <laughs> you know, I mean, Anthony Roger. I'm saying, don't you know the trick? Don't you know the game? 
Don't you know that those people, they will never answer anything? And the funny, if you go and watch the debate, you will see that Shabir Ali, he don't want to quote his prophet in a hadith, but he want to quote a guy, his name is Anthony Quinn or Monica Lewinsky. Guys we never heard of, this person he said, who is this person? What does this have to do with our debate? Why you don't quote your prophet? He will not quote his prophet because the second he quoted the prophet, the opponent will quote his prophet too. So they are very picky and they choose carefully how they play the game. And the Christians are very, I don't want to use the word naive, I want to use the word, they are not aware that they are debating the devil himself. We are not debating a flesh. We are debating the devil. And now we go, uh, there is a person, he says, why you say, you know, uh, uh, David would, he, you know, uh, he did not, uh, he's not a good debater. Well, I do not need to say it. All the Christians who don't speak in, you know, Arabic, they are not good debaters. Because debating Islam is based in knowing Islam, and knowing Islam is based in knowing Arabic. And if you do not know Arabic, you know only what translated for you. And every single book translated about Islam is a lie. Are you getting my point? This is why, here we go, I go live almost every day. Where are those guys? Even those liars who say, Christian Prince, he hang up on people. I hang up on kids. You know, you are a sheikh. I will call me. You will see I never hang up on a sheikh. I hang up on you because you keep repeating yourself and you are just a kid, a stupid kid. You say whatever you want. When somebody says to me, uh, something against what I'm showing in the screen. It's in front of you. <laughs> and you repeat again and again and again. Okay, there's no time. There's no need to talk no more. But if you are a sheikh, call me. And I promise the one who hang up first is the coward and he is the loser. But they will not dare to do that. Hold on. I have an offer for you. I will call you on your channel. And if you hang up on me, that's mean you are the one who lost. What about that? They will not do it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. He will never dare to do so. You know, this guy is a potato. Anyway, I will make uh, some videos about this uh, 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 Burka boy. You know, just for fun. I mean, this guy, every two seconds, he make a lie. Every two seconds, his videos. So, but be careful, this guy, he will flag you for copyright. He's a potato, you know, a muta boy. He have no dignity. He's not a man. So he will flag you. And he did, you know, for my video, if you remember. But remember, for me, I don't have monetizing. I don't care. I mean, and, and uh, even if I lose channel, I have a thousand. But you're going to do nothing for me. Like you see this channel here? This is not even my channel. Which mean, I mean, it is my channel, but it's not the uh, official one. It's one of many channels. I lose it. I have 60 something thousand in it. Who care? Eh. After five minutes, I will go in different channel and people will subscribe and they will come. They will follow wherever I go. So don't ever think you can take me down. And I am here to stay. And you do not dare to debate me. And approve, where are you? And you can watch all the Muslim sheikhs who claim to be sheikh and debated me and see what happened to them. Go watch it and die laughing. So now, why it's very important to know Arabic? What is the reason? Number one, the Muslim, they will make mockery of you because you are reading a translation. This is, it doesn't say that. This is wrong translation. Even if the translation is made by them.
Do you remember the guy from Indonesia? What his name? Ustaz BMW. I forgot his name. Uh, Ustaz, Ustaz, or uh, Insan, Insan, BMW guy. You know. I will give the group temperance five BMW if he can answer those questions. Uh, are you sure? Like, why you don't let me call you and let us see if I can answer them or not? <laughs> and then we use his translation in his videos and we get him busted from his own translation in his screen. Somebody saying, can you make course in order to learn Arabic? My friend, I have a channel. It's called Arab for Christ. I have all the, the courses you need to learn Arabic. Go and check it out for free. For free. You do not need to pay anyone. Watch it, practice, and you will learn. So, if we go right now and ask the Muslims, the Muhammadan, what is the translation you accept for the Quran? Here we go, you know we have Muslims here. Hey Muslims, what is the translation you accept for the Quran? You will find they will say none. Like what? None? Why? Why brother? Because if they say we accept any, then we will get them busted. So the only way is to avoid it to say we don't accept. Okay, what about forget about translation? I speak Arabic now. Can you play with it? When a stupid God, he say in the beginning of his book, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. How in the world Allah, he says such a thing? Isn't it him Allah? And then Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. Is that the correct translation? Hey Muslims, is that the correct translation? That Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. <laughs> Do you see how easy to get the skull busted? However, Muslim, they can jump and say, oh, this is a wrong translation, brother. You cannot call me brother. Chapter 5, verse 51. Why you call me brother? Liars. Deception. They say to you then, this is a prayer. Where it says this is a prayer? Did Allah, he says, pray like this? Did the angel, are you, uh, did, did you take a verse out of the chapter? I mean, that, 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 that Allah says to Muhammad, pray like this? No. As you see, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. This is your translation. And then this Allah, he says, show us the straight way. Who is the one talking? Is it the Abdul, they say, nobody can make Quran like Allah? So who is talking there? If Allah is talking, why in the world he is saying, show us the straight way? Who is the one says, thee we do worship? <laughs> Allah saying that? In the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud, Al-Fatiha has not even exist. Muhammad was trying to make a prayer the same as the, the, the prayer with Jesus, he said to the Christians, to his disciple, when they asked him how to pray, he told them, our father out of heaven. Right? So, the big part of the game is that you do not know Arabic. And I know Arabic, and then they, they make videos, a hundred something saying Christian Prince lies. But they don't dare to call me to speak about one of them. Did you notice? They don't dare to call me, and they don't dare to let me call them to speak about any of the lies they say I'm lying. Why? for very simple reason. I am an Arab. And I have knowledge of all the laundry of Muhammad. So two things make an extreme powerful weapon. You have the knowledge 
he speak the language how we can play with this guy do you notice now there is something else additional to this you see uh, debate is a, is not just you know a person have knowledge and not only a person who have a speak Arabic it's a gift you have to be very fast thinking person connect the dots together what you will notice that what people do when they debate they are reading a format in front of them in their computer or a paper in the table so obviously this is not a debate what about you both of you post for us in the internet what you wrote there and we do not need to watch it we read it you know what I mean both of them they are reading something they wrote two three weeks before the debate so what is the debate a debate is something have to do with the crossfire and let me tell you something as long as there's no harsh argument that means there is no debate listen to me carefully as long as there's no harsh language I don't mean to be rude I mean to say things as it is it means there's no debaters and both are practicing something very well known called I am being politically correct and that will not bring any debate not to the Christians not to the Muslims it's just a show time So when I say they don't dare to debate Arab Christians, uh, well, this is the proof. Here we go. I'm in front of you. Who is going to schedule for me a debate? Not face to face as they claim. You see, this is the excuse. I will debate him face to face because then you, I go nowhere to debate anyone. I sit in here wearing my short. I have a flip flap in my foot, flipping Quran and Muhammad using my toes. Why you need to see my face? Uh, that is an excuse because they knew this is what he don't do. So we will make that a challenge. If I show my face, they will say, I don't know. We don't debate you. <laughs> People, they want an answer. They don't care for the face. You like to be famous. You are seeking fame. I'm not. People even don't know who I am. They are seeking fame, publicity. I'm seeking none of this, except I'm seeking the truth. So now I have an offer for the Muslims. As you see, this video is have a title. Prove me wrong. Who is the Muslim Sheikh is willing to call me right now as we speak? Who is a Muslim Sheikh? He dare to debate me now. I'm not going to choose the topic. You choose it. Look how good the offer is. Anyone? <laughs> they don't dare. Walking suck, there is to debate and get busted. Please see who is walking suck. I didn't see that person. And why his name is like that? I mean, even the name doesn't sound like a, sound like a kid. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Anyone? His name is Sheikh Sok, Sokok, so, so What is that? How is a Sheikh? 
Where, where, where is he? Is he in the in the chat room? Let me open my Skype. <clears throat> Uh, hey, Mr. Socks. I don't know what's your name, my friend. Are you shake, as you claim? Or you are just... And why you have such a name, Sock? What is that? What kind of shake he used such a name? Are you there? For some reason, I don't see this person in the chat. Anyway, I will open my Skype. And let us see whoever a Muslim he claim. I want a Muslim to prove me wrong. That especially if you are a person who is well known, you are a sheikh, and you claim that you can debate me, us. Prove me wrong. If the person who is making the challenge is someone who know nothing about Islam, or let us say an American person, they will be lining up here to debate the person. Okay, my Skype is open. I don't see any Muslims. <laughs> If you are a Muslim and you claim to have knowledge, text me in Skype right now and I will call you immediately. And please be sure that you are a person who have knowledge. Oh, we have uh, Jihad Yusuf. He is trying to contact me, I think. Okay, we have a Muslim, I guess. Hello? Go change, go change your the picture you have, you coward. Change the picture you have on your screen. A person who give a finger in his thumb is not a person to talk to. Obviously, you're a trashy person. Do we have any Muslim? We have in the thumb, you have a picture of a you know, giving finger. Go play with your finger. Do we have any Muslim here there to call us? Anyone? We have a person, his name is Ahmad Muhammad. He want to debate me uh, Saturday. Huh. Well, Saturday is gone a long time ago. Let us see if we can call him. Okay, Mr. Ahmad Muhammad is not answering. Let us see. Next. Uh. All right, let us see, Mr. Jihad Yusuf. No connection. Uh, no, it's not answering. It's not going through even. even. So do we have any Muslim?
Do we have any Muslim? Open challenge. Who is a Muslim? He think. Hello. Hello. Yes. Christian Prince. Yes, you are live on air. Okay. Um. Well, I'm live here too, and I just want to call you to tell you my experience and that I was Muslim. Okay. And I want everyone to know what I discovered for Islam. So first of all, I want to say that I converted to Islam. I come from a very, very broken uh, family. Okay. I was a college student and I became homeless, right? And happened that in my university, there was a big Muslim community. I, you know, they talk nice to me, they sugarcoat things like usual. And I decided to convert because I said, okay, well, they're really nice. I, these are the only nice people that I have been around with. And I see that whatever they tell me, I was thinking it makes sense because they were saying, oh, we believe in Jesus Christ. And if, oh, we love Jesus, we respect Jesus. And Islam is a religion of peace. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so I took Shahada. I want to admit publicly that I didn't. I took it without me having zero understanding what is Islam. I just went outside and jumped and said, okay, I'll, I say the Shahada. Mm -hmm. uh, throughout time, I noticed that when I was when I, when I became Muslim, everyone was very nice to me. Everyone wanted me to pray for them. Everyone uh, was trying to help me. Everyone. And from, it was all sugars and rainbows until... I started, you know, praying at the mosque. People will come and fix my hair, hamstrings a lot, mm -hmm. and say, "No, you're praying wrong," or what, or watching how every step I make, or the clothes I wear, and it was so uncomfortable at the beginning, right? Later on, um, I decided. Well, one of my friends, she hosts me in her house, but. And her mom is Islamic scholar. She's an Islamic scholar. And no scholar, sorry. It's more like an Islamic school professor. Mm -hmm. So, and that she's from the Middle East, right. But I, I never, as I say, I never had any experience or contact with any Muslim people. So they tell me Islam, but the way that they tell me Islam was very, very aggressive. I didn't... I, you know, I'm, I'm from Latin America. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say I'm Latina. And in my culture, of course, it's very natural to shake hands, to greet by the kids. So it, they told me, they stopped me, and it's like, no, that's wrong. And I felt really bad, I said, oh, how is that wrong? But they, even, uh, they would just point me out things that I was doing wrong without telling me the reason. And I would feel bad because how can I, this is when, when I started to question things because I see how can just a simple hand shake gesture will arouse any attraction between the opposite gender, right? Mm -hmm. Even for a job interview, no, you cannot. I ask, uh, there's a lot of uh, Muslim scholars who come to my university and do Holocaust and teach Islam. And I ask, okay, so how is it wrong to shake hands if you don't have a bad intention? And they told me an answer, like a solid answer. So from there on, what, I what, think what was started, the, what was the answer? Oh, they said, oh, it's because we don't we don't mix with the other gender. I said, but why? Is that because Allah knows best, and we know we're not supposed to be be with them because we can you don't know each other's heart. So it can arouse attraction. But if you think about it, how can just shaking hands rose at, uh, arise attraction to another person? Like, I'm just greeting the person, right? Mm -hmm. So from there on, I started, like, getting, like, a bad feeling. But I, I didn't listen to my gut, so I just went on. I just went on and tried to learn. I actually was really trying very hard to learn Islam, to pray, to memorize Quran and to understand what Islam was, because I, everyone around my environment was very religious, very, very religious. And I, I wanted to be that way, like, you know, and 
uh, for for example, they would tell me, you have to memorize Quran because when you die, they're going to ask you who's your prophet, uh, what you believe on. They're going to tell me to recite the Shahada. And they told me to that I have to memorize Quran. And then I started asking myself, well, how am I going to memorize something I can barely understand? But, you know, like, sometimes I would, I would, do, I would do something and question myself, but as I said, I wouldn't. I didn't follow my gut this time until I actually started reading the Quran. And when I started reading the Quran, <coughs> I got very, very shocked because I say, "Why? Like, is this really true?" So I went and I asked many texts, many scholars about that, and they would be, they would say that, "Oh, you're you're not understanding Arabic. You need to understand the context." You need to 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 learn Arabic because it's classic first Arabic. Mm -hmm. But I want to ask you, Christian friends, something. How can people teach Islam or want to do? Uh, uh, they want to da do dawah on a, not on converts if they say that Arabic is a really high level language that no one can understand. How can they try to teach something that is high level to people that barely can speak Arabic? That's my question. Well, you know, what they say partly is true. Nobody can understand. The Quran is a very stupid book, you know. So if we give the Muslims a verse in the Quran, and we ask them, what does verse mean? You will see they have a thousand interpretation, if not a million. So how a language which is sent by Allah to guide us, they themselves cannot understand, and they cannot have the same interpretation for, you know, what is the, what is the message there? So the Quran is a very stupid book made by a very stupid writer and because of that uh, there's no doesn't make sense actually if I go to the comment <coughs> there's a Muslim he posted in the comment let me see if I can find it in the previous video uh, he said how you say in the chapter of Maryam Mary chapter 19 uh, he said how the how you say that the Quran uh, is not connected, you know, doesn't make sense. The verse before and the verse after have nothing to do with it. So he mentioned that uh, uh, the verse of, uh, and the chapter of Mary as an example, all of it is about Mary. But is it true? If we go right now to the chapter of Mary, we will find that the part about Mary is just little. The most of the part have nothing to do with Mary. You know, here we go. This is about Mary. This is about Mary. This is about Mary. No, you know. And then what is this? This is about Mary. This is about Mary. This is about uh, no. And then here he speaks a little bit about Mary. And then he jump. He starts speaking about things that have nothing to do with Mary and have nothing to do with the teaching of Christ. You know, like who is the one is you know who who uh, uh, who is the one is talking here? So in 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 the Quran there is no connection. Uh, between between verses and there is no connection between a verse and the one after it uh, you know he talking about Mary okay here we jump to Moses and then we jump to to, uh, to Aaron why because Muhammad he think that Aaron is the uh, is the uncle of uh, of Isa and who is Isa we do not even know who is this name so the Quran is a very stupid book and this is why the Muslim they try to fix the Quran so when the Quran says he found the sun set in murky water, the Muslim they have to add words to the verse in order to fix it. So they say it appeared to Alexander the Great that the sun set in murky, but uh, Allah never said it appeared to him. He said he found it. So in order to fix stupidity, they have to fix the language, and they have to add words. So how the Quran is an amazing book, high level of language, when the Quran is given wrong meaning, a wrong. Uh, purpose of it you know what I mean um, I understand I understand and this is my question like why they even try to do that one? like if, if they know that there's something's wrong and they claim that the translation it's inaccurate how in the heck they try to still convert people into Islam like, that's, well, that's you know my... you see it's like you're asking the Satan why he's trying to fool you that doesn't make sense so you should know that this is a satanic religion and a person who follow it, he is possessed with the devil. So he has a duty, he's a, they're a prophet. They, they have videos about a guy, a Muslim guy, who made a Jew 
I, I believe this is a fabricated story, but that Sheikh is a proud about it in YouTube. So he said, this is how we can, you know, this is the, look how smart our brother here. So there is, he said, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a Jewish guy, he is a neighbor to a Muslim. The Muslim guy, he keeps saying to him, why you don't convert to Islam? Convert to Islam. Islam is better for you, you know, etc. So the Jewish guy, he said, you know him, you know what? I don't really mind converting to Islam, but I like to smoke and I like to drink. The Muslim guy said to him, who told you you cannot do smoke and drink? You can. The Jewish guy, he said, really? He said, yeah, just say Shahada. Say Shahada. The Jewish guy, he said Shahada and he became a Muslim. Now the Muslim, he grabbed a cigarette to smoke. The Muslim, he said to him, you cannot smoke. The the guy, he said to him, but you told me I can. He said, yeah, I said that to you before you said Shahada. <laughs> so they are saying that this guy, the Muslim guy, he tricked the Jewish guy to save him. He lied to him to save him. This is a good lie. Islam without lies dies. So they justify their lies by saying that we lie to save the people. We enslave you to save you you know so if we go actually here in the in the in the hadith let me show you this in the hadith mm -hmm. if you ask a muslim why you attack people and nations and enslave them and take them as sex slaves why you do that they say to you the answer in what the prophet said okay Read carefully. Abu Huraira reported that the prophets are saying, God charmed with people who will enter paradise in chains. They will enter heaven in chains? Why they will enter heaven and they have a chains? Doesn't make sense. We have to search more. We go down a little bit. We find. Okay. Muhammad, he said to the Muslims, speaking to the Arab, you are the best of people ever raised up to for the for between two bracket for the benefit of mankind this is quran chapter 3 verse 110 and then muhammad explained that verse you see if you go on youtube almost and they say this is you see the quran says that the best of us is the one who is the best for mankind this is what it says but they will not say to you that this is about slaving and raving women of other nations read carefully he said the best of mankind of those who bring them with the chain around their necks till they embrace Islam. There, thereby save them from eternal punishment and hellfire. So Muhammad, he told the Muslims that enslaving others is a duty of charity. Are you... Yeah, this is the, I'm showing the reference in front of you. You know, I'm, I, we don't say things without proof. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, so this is just make it even worse. Yeah. So it, those Muslims, because now you don't live in in the in the land of Islam, they are not raping you and they are not taking you as a slave. But if you are, if if Al Qaeda control, let's say you are a Mexican, I don't know where are you from, but let's say you are a Mexican and the Muslims took over Mexico and they want to practice a true Islam and they invade your country, they can take you and rape you. And this is the Quran proving that all over. And Enslaving you is part of the duty of the Muslim. It's an obligation. It's not even a choice. As you see, Muhammad praising the Muslims and Allah praising the Muslims, saying you are the best of mankind. Why? Because you enslave others. Because by enslaving them, you force them to convert to Islam. Oh and, by, and by the way, even those who convert to Islam, Muhammad, he refused to free them, most of them. As an example, Bilal, he was a slave of Muhammad. And Muhammad did not free him. Muhammad, he died, and still Bilal is a slave. So, so he, Bilal was never free? According to some Muslim, they claim that he was freed by Abu Bakr later. But the reference says that Bilal, he came to Abu Bakr and he said to him, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, will you free me for the sake of Allah? So obviously Bilal was begging, you know, for his freedom, and Muhammad never freed him. Okay, so how can... How can people believe that this cult then, if, if it's a duty for enslaving people, how can everyone of Muslims believe this is a cult from God? What? I'm sorry. But well, like, you know, this is what happened to you too. You are, you see, you, 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 don't be offended with what, what, what I will say. You know, always I like to be honest. You were with them in the same jar. You are the same. How you believe yeah. in such a garbage, you know? 
Sorry to say that to you. So no, no, you, you've been you've I been mean, driven. You see, you, you, actually, your guilt is bigger than their guilt. Sorry to say so. Why? Because okay, you were homeless, no problem. You were in need, no problem. And life was tough on you. I understand. But to convert to a religion, you do not know what it is. How that can happen? Exactly. You know, I was desperate. I was like, basically, they. Re I really appreciate them. I don't. I don't. I don't have anything against them. They are really nice. As, really nice as people. But my concern is these things. Like just like something like this, like you mentioned, when I saw that Aisha uh, got married with the prophet, and the prophet was really old. Like he was fifty-five or fifty-six. Not sure how. And she was a little girl. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, there's even a, a, a hadith that says that she was still playing with her dolls. Yes, that's disturbing. Yeah. really disturbing to think about that. And then uh, my friends and other uh, scholars they excuse themselves saying, "Oh, but at that time, at that time, the girls are already mature. They they ready for marriage. Those are other times. Those are uh, she was already old. She was like her body was developed because she's in the desert. It's really hot environment. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm sorry, but I I don't know. Like I, that's uh, in that in that point, I said, all right, there there's something wrong. You know. You see, first of all. The, the claim of she is in the desert. Well, now we have girls who live in the desert in Saudi Arabia and they are six years old. They are the same as a girl who live in New York. They are still little girls. So this is a lie and nothing changed. Actually, now, isn't it they say there's a global warming, which means now it's more hot? <laughs> so girls, they have, like, are we talking about, talking about eggplant and the eggplant will grow faster in a warm area? That is a stupid statement, you know? This is a human being. He have a stages. He grow old by days, not by uh, being exposed to the sunlight. We are not plants. So this is a false answer for a false cult to protect a predator, sexual predator for children. And until now, according to Islam, there's no age limit for how Muslim he can marry. Actually, you can watch my videos. It's in YouTube. Search for sex with infant debate oh. with infant. The Muslims in their book, they say that it's forbidden for a Muslim to have intercourse with an infant. It's forbidden. However, he can, excuse my language, he can put his private part between her legs, but he don't enter. Infant. What? One day old. Go watch the debate. Go watch it. You know, it's in the interview too. Just search for it. You know? Of course. And the Muslim, he was debating, and we are showing the reference in the screen, and we can show it right now. So this is an extreme, bad, ugly, disgusting cult. And the only way to defend this cult is to lie. And now they have articles saying that Aisha, she was 18. But all of us, we know that Aisha, when Muhammad died, she was going through 18. She's not 18 yet. So Muhammad, he married Aisha after he died. So in order to avoid the, 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 the problem, they start making false article about the age of Aisha. But Aisha herself, I mean, look at this. Is it Aisha saying I was six years old? <laughs> you know, she is the wife. She is the one who was with the Muhammad. So she was six years old. She became a wife. According to Aisha, by the age of nine, he did intercourse. But between six and nine, he was molesting her. This oh. is how bad this man is. He is a criminal. I, I, I'm sorry, but like I, it's, it's even more, more even disturbing about listening to to this. I mean, but yeah, and I want to. Okay, so I want to continue. All thank right. you so much for your reference, and thank you. No, like I want to say that yes, I was a stupid, and I admitted I uh, of going joining something without further research. But you know, when people is vulnerable, they believe on anything. And, and everything or they like any a slight spark of hope you know they they go for it mm -hmm. right and thank god you know i i did well like i ended up uh, finding a job after i graduated with my engineering degree mm -hmm. and uh everything went well uh thank god but um in the process of me like when i still had those questions i I met someone and I we decided to get married. He's Arab from the Middle East, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, where we got married and everything. I was still a Muslim. In this time, I want to say I was still a Muslim. And, I, you know, he actually decided, he said, oh, my God, I, I, 
I love you and you know it's better for me to marry you because I always I wanted to marry a girl to convert her, convert her to Islam but it's even easier because you're already Muslim so I guess he he liked the idea of me being a, con- a convert to Islam so he could teach me Islam I don't know mm-hmm. but the, <laughs> uh, so we got married and everything and you know here I am I'm I'm still married to him but uh, I had an accident and uh, we had a very, very bad accident. And in that accident, I, he got really bad and I also got really hurt. And, uh, and uh, I was, uh, I don't know what happened. So something changed my life inside the day. And I thought that I was really gonna die. And I, I really thought that the, it was the end for me. And, all of a sudden, I say no. <laughs> I, 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 I turn myself. I don't know how, but I turn myself back to Jesus again, to Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. and I say, "Please, I give my life to you. Like I, I really don't want to die, and I don't, and I hope that nothing happens to to him, to my husband." And uh, can you believe that after I pray that, like I got better, we got better, and he got out of a. Uh, of uh, he was in an in intensive care, and he got out of intensive care. Okay. So I prayed to Jesus and I say, "What is going on?" You know, and um, he felt also he he fell out of status in his visa because he's from obviously the Middle East. And the lawyer told me he I went and he told me he violated the conditions. It's most likely that he will get deported. And again, I went, I turned myself to Jesus and I said, please, please don't take him away from me. I, even though he's Muslim, but I put his life in your, in your hands and I put my life in your hands. But please make our situation better. From there on, I felt a very, very peace in my heart, in my, in my head. Because I want to tell you this, even when I was Muslim, I'll pray. 10,000 rakats, I'll pray at night, I'll go to the mosque, and I was still feeling disturbed in my soul. I was not feeling in peace, I wasn't feeling calm. I, I had, there was something missing in my life. There was, uh, I was, I had no peace whatsoever, Christian Prince. Mm-hmm. But after the accident happened, and after I prayed, believe me, that peace came back. And I want to tell you that my husband, by the grace of Jesus Christ, he has now a, a, res, a permanent resident card. In the interview, like he didn't know, he, like the interview went bad, but I stay up praying and reading the Bible before the interview. And the same day after the, even though the interview went like crap, but we got approved. And he even, he told me, how did this even happen? How did this even happen? But I can tell you that me putting my life and my hands in Jesus Christ was the best, best thing that I could ever do. I was blind. I don't, I didn't have any peace. But after I started watching your videos, Apostate Prophet and David Woods, I start having a much clearer understanding of what I got myself into. And today I regret, I regret deeply of having, putting myself in the situation. But I'm my, I think that everything happens for a reason. And I want to say thank you because you're doing an amazing job and you're letting people to open their minds and their hearts and their brain. Right now, my d- duty, and well, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to educate myself i'm trying to learn more because i would love my husband to see one day the the, the light of jesus christ because i it maybe that's too much for me to ask but it's a hard it's a hard task why, why you I, don't ask your husband to call me or to speak to me right now because i i already told him he i have already uh, talked to him and i said if you think because he talk, he tells me that you are a liar, that you're lying in the mouth of Islam, mm-hmm. that you and and at first I told him, okay, 
because he was saying, okay, uh, David Woods and Apostle Prophet, they don't know Arabic. How can they be talking about this stuff? So okay. I said, okay, well, they're Arabic, right? But then when I told when I told him about you, he said, no, he's lying. He's a liar. And he he just, um, he wants, he's an enemy of Islam. And I said, okay, if you believe that Islam has the absolute truth and it's the right religion, why you don't face them? Why you don't prove them? that Islam it's the right religion he said he's not worth my time so I was like okay so you're scared of him okay like, why not stop stop you... stop please hold on hey guys did you hear what she said there's a guy in the chat he is saying that Fifi he got me busted and he mentioned Imam Murrah or whatever I say to all those Abdul this lady who was an ex-Muslim she just said to you something very important as long as I did lie call me and show me the lie and then record it and then spread it around and let people laugh. Why you don't face me with my lies? How come you are so good in show that be Muslims that I'm lying? In a video you make debating yourself and you win. For sure you will win. <laughs> Muslims support you, whatever you say. So why they don't dare to call me and prove me that I am a liar, I'm here. I just said, who wanna call me? And the lady she called me, I do not know her. Any Muslim can call me. So you have Muslims make tons of videos about me lying choose any of them and call me right now and either we laugh at you and at them or people will laugh at me like we have this guy his name is arman views arman how are you arman? call me right now and let us talk about imam Iran. people will die laughing at you do you dare you don't dare you're a potato son of muta <laughs> muta boy so they are street boys they don't dare to face this is what we are saying you see look at the title why muslims avoid debating arabic christian because all what they say here will be proven to be false. Otherwise, trust me, they will be lined up to call me and to get me busted. But because they know that they are no match, they knew that they have nothing, they are bankrupt, they don't dare to call me. And in the same time, uh, we have uh, this guy who is saying, Fifi, why you don't ask Fifi to let me call him? I will call him right now. And he can choose any of the lies I say to talk about it. Anyone. We can start from uh, lie number one. <laughs> do, you, do they dare? So they are a bunch of kids, and you Muslims are desperate. And here we go. Number one lie, let me remind you. Your sister, she said that Aisha, she was not, she was, a, she was a growing woman. She had her menstruation already. And we showed in the video and in the hadith that this is absolutely a lie. Because at the age of 14, still she didn't have her period. So who is the one who lie? The sun set in murky water. Oh, it doesn't say that, CP. It appeared to Zulqurnayn that it is sitting in murky water. And then this Abdul, he just, this is why they are so angry from me. They say, this is the correct hadith apostate prophet. Which one? Which one? This one. Let me show it to you. <laughs> Sorry, I will, let, I will let you stay with me a little bit, you know? Okay. This is the correct hadith, okay? Okay, what is the correct hadith? What is the one, you know? Uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 this, is, this is the correct one. Okay, this is the one explain Islam for us. Yes, I agree with this hadith. This is absolutely the authentic hadith. Go and watch the video and die laughing. And what is the authentic hadith which the, the, the those little girls they agree with? They say that Allah Prophet said to Abu Dhar, Do you know where the sun said? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best for sure. They associate the name of their prophet and the knowledge of their God with the knowledge of Muhammad. They are mushrikeen kuffar. He said it goes and prostrate underneath Allah throne and Susu and Mimi and Fifi they say yes this is correct we agree with that but this is what really this is, this is alone is enough to prove it's time to be shish kebab as long as they agree all of them about it that this is authentic and this is a true and this is the hadith which is the, telling the truth your prophet teach that the sun goes every day from the east to the west and sleep and the excuse my language enter the butt of Allah and then the son will ask Allah for permission to go back. And then Allah, when they will refuse, because this is the judgment day time, and he will say to the son, go back where you came from. So who is the one is lying? Abdul, who is the one is lying? 
Now you cannot say they don't agree. They said they agree with this hadith. And the video is there. They agree with it. They said, yes, this is the authentic hadith. Here the Prophet, peace be upon him, he respond to you. <laughs> he respond to us? <laughs> Absolutely. I want, I want to <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Go ahead, sorry. Huh? So I was making the comparison of Muhammad, right? Uh, my understanding is that he's a caravan robber. He had multiple wives. He was asking for zakat. Uh, not zakat, sorry. Um, uh, jizya. Jizya. Mm -hmm. And uh, those, these characteristics, if you think about it, oh, he killed people that went against him. Okay, if you think about it, these characteristics, I put it, I put Muhammad and then I compare it to uh to a cartel leader that's what they do they like yeah women. exactly exactly they go against uh whoever that kills them and 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 latin american countries what they do is uh they uh they ask for uh to business uh for tax protection money right this is and if you don't give it to them you kill them so that's what a cartel leader does right actually the mafia the word mafia, a mafia. So a mafia the, the word mafia leader, is coming from islam put? The word mafia, maybe you do not know. When the Muslims occupy part of Europe and they withdraw when they lost the war, then the criminals, they took over the business of the Muslims. So they come to the stores and they say, the same you used to pay to the Muslims, you have to pay us to protect you. The Muslims, they force you to pay, otherwise pay or die. So the mafia started with Islam. Even the word mafia is an Islamic, the word assassination is coming from Islam. This is coming from the word, from, from the person, his name is Hassan al-Hashash. He's a person who built a castle and he take, he give uh, drugs to the Muslims and then he send them, he, you know, he sent a letter to the princes or, you know, rich people saying, pay me or die. And if you don't pay him, he will send one of his addicted to assassinate the person because he refused to, to pay. This is exactly Islam today. Islam today convert or we die, or you die. We will send you a person to stab you. Just yesterday, a, a, a Somalian person, he stabbed four Italian women and a, a child, he is six years old. Go, go search the news. So this is Islam. Islam is a religion of assassination. It is a cult. It is about sex. And if we ask Muslims and those who they are proud about their prophet, if we go in the Quran right now, we will find that Allah, he made a chapter or a verse in the Quran about the private part of Muhammad and how to make him happy. And this is only a privilege to the Prophet. And what is the privilege saying? That Muhammad, he can sleep with all those women. In the top of that, any woman she can offer herself to the Prophet to sleep with them. What does this have to do with God? A person already have tons of wives and he have tons of sex slaves. Why he need? women to offer themselves and those women and if we go and read the interpretation it says that if a prophet his eyes fall into a woman and even if she is married her, her husband must divorce her immediately what kind of a prophet this prophet is if his eyes fall into a woman like now you are married to this muslim guy right mm -hmm. so if muhammad come to your house and he like you your husband must divorce you so the prophet he can have you. And trust me, your husband what? will be, he, not say bad words, please. Oh, uh, sorry. And sorry, your no, and your husband and your husband he will be do, he will do it happily. He will do it happily and tell him tell your husband, what about you call this guy and ask him to challenge him to show us what he just said about if if Muhammad he saw me, you have to divorce me so he can have me. Tell him why you don't dare, to, just ask him, show us on the screen, don't debate, don't debate the guy. Tell him, I challenge you to show me that the prophet, he's, he, you know, he, 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 he doesn't teach that. And the prophet, he do that. Actually, he did that to his own son. He oh, went to the God. son, that's his own son, he flirted with the wife, and all of this is in their books. Every single word we just said, it is in their books, and any Muslim can call me and prove it wrong. I will give you a few minutes to, to finish your story, uh, my, okay. uh, my yeah. friend, and Thank we you continue. So much. Okay. And I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to curse. It's just that I, the it's press, right. I, I was very shocked to say, I mean, <laughs> honestly, like, I, it's horrendous. Like, I have no even words to say it, but like, 
how can like that that how can that even be called a religion like how can they, i'm sorry but like if any muslim is willing to give their wives to the husband just because he says so please tell me where is the the spirituality the the god part in there that is that's that's not Oh my God! I'm so Christian. I'm, I'm you know, you know what? I, I I will do something. I will send you a link in Arabic, and I want you to tell him. Can you read it for for me? Please, please, send that to me, please. <laughs> yeah, I tell him. Are you proud about your prophet? And by the way, you do not need him to translate, because you can use Google translation. You know what I mean? You do not need him okay. because if he he tried to lie to you and says it doesn't say that, get him busted. Say hey, listen. Let us use Google Translation, and this is your official website. I can give it to you. Actually, let me give it to you from the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So he will not say, oh, this is a website. Anyone can make a website. This is government website. Let us, let us go there. Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and this is the link. I will give it to you in Skype. Thank you. Let me go to the chat. After you finish, you will see it in the chat there. Okay, here we go. And now I will say thank you for calling us. And I will be waiting for your husband. Tell him be a man. And I advise you, my, my friend, this person, uh, sooner or later, he will divorce you and he will find a new wife. Just wait. Time will come. This is because as long as he is a Muslim, this is what Muslims do. When the woman, she gets a little bit older, she gave him some kids. She got a little bit choppy. He go and find a brand new wife in the Middle East. As simple as that. I'm just telling the truth. Even their prophet, he said, why you marry a previously married woman? Why you marry a woman she is not a child? And I can show you the reference right now. Muhammad, he encouraged them to marry children who they are virgins so they can be amused by them and they have fun this is the reference in the front of us you see this is the story a man who married a woman previously married or let us say she is not a virgin so according to muhammad the correct thing to do is to go and find a little child she is a baby and to marry her and have sex with her and here you see actually because if you say to to you oh it doesn't say she is a little girl it says that it says the guy he said he answered the prophet he says the reason i did not marry a child a young daughter a young girl because i want the women to take care of my orphans my brother he died and i needed a woman who should take care of take care of them not a, a girl like them oh. and let me give you the reference too for this one so you can show it to your so-called husband you know by the way uh, i don't know you said you are a christian a christian um, cannot a christian cannot marry non-christian i'm sorry by the way i want to say that i i had no idea about that uh, because I was Catholic, uh, my black woman is Catholic, hmm. but now I'm I'm Christian, so I I didn't even have. I'm not asking you to divorce it. the guy. I'm saying, according to the Bible, a Christian woman she cannot marry a Christ, uh, uh, non-Christian. However, you left the faith, and when you married him, you were not a Christian. So you know that can let, let it go. But this is in Christianity. This is not married because most times they don't marry. Most times they have sex contract. It's called nikah. Nikah means the effort. So you sign a contract that he can F, excuse my language. He did not sign a contract he can marry. There is no marriage in Islam. This is why they are encouraged to start with two and the three and four. And actually, according to some, there is no limit. But if you could not do that, you go for one, which means Islam did not say you start having sex with one as a wife. Islam start with having sex with two and three and four, etc. And if you could not do all of those, then you go to the bankruptcy, which means you sleep with one only. That is not marriage. A person, a God who, who a person who believe that he should, he can have many, many women. Obviously, he don't believe in marriage. The the more that you tell me about this, the more it disturbing it sick it gets. 
But I'm here to share the truth with you. You know, I don't want to, you to disturb your life as a person married <laughs> to this person. Maybe he's a maybe. You know, but you see what from what you say to me, he sounds like he is. Uh, uh, he is. You know, he is not e decent with you, because if he is saying well, Christian Prince is lying, tell him, can you show me the lie? I will call him, record him. He don't call me. Record him. Huh? Record him. Say, hey, Christian Prince, you lie about this. You call me. You play his voice. We open it and we see who's lying. Okay. You know? Sounds I'm going to say <laughs> who's lying. All right. Thank you for calling me and God bless you. So you and we pray for you. Before that, before you end the call, please keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome. And we need more people like you in this world. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Take care. God Have bless. a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. -bye. All right. Uh, anyone who speak against Islam, he is a liar. Zakarnak saying the earth was not covered by water is not a liar. But the Quran says so. The interpretation says so. Christian Prince, he said that the prophet, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. Well, this is not me saying that. This is Tafsir al qurtabi This is your Islamic website, Government of Saudi Arabia. I did not say that. This is your book. And here it describes how Muhammad he went to the house. <laughs> I think this is a fake Muslim. Hello? Hey, hi. Who, hi? You are a Muslim? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Hey, why are you Muslim saying hi? You say Assalamu Alaikum. You are not a Muslim. Ah, so you cannot say Assalamu Alaikum to non-Muslim, correct? You have to greet me first. No, I don't have to. Let you me, have let, to. Okay, let me greet you. You are stupid. According to my religion, you have to, but I have to say something. No, 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 you, you know, according to your religion, but you cannot do it. And here we go. I just told you that you are stupid because you cannot force me to greet you. You are, the of one, that and you are the one, and you are the one who greeted me. You forgot that you said hi, you stupid. So you are the one, you said, according to your religion, I have to greet you. But you call me and you said hi. So who is the stupid here? Yes, I have to greet you in your language. <laughs> this is not my language. I'm an Arab, you idiot. Yeah, you are Arabic. Now listen, and listen, I, listen. I, okay, I, tell me, what, most, tell me what, you, what do you think about your prophet? If his, no. tell me what do you think about your prophet? If his eyes fit into a woman, no. her husband must divorce I, her, so the prophet he can have her. I can. I say to you what I think of my prophet, but are you proud of that? What you have done right now? Yeah, for they, sure. They are going to divorce because of your shit. I, I am what? Maybe they go and divorce his uh, his man because of your shit. Well, she is not married. Are you proud of it? Is she married? She's married. Yeah. No, she, she is married. Has a boyfriend she is married. She is married. In the, no, no, my friend. Listen, uh, according to the Bible, Please. a woman I, she is married to non-Christian. She is not married. <laughs> she's not. Uh, she's married to a Muslim, and that's the reason why you First of all, um, have to. Secondly, to, you don't have marriage in law? Islam. Can you show me what is marriage in Islam? Is that is that the is nikah? Okay, nikah, guys. Nikah. Is, okay, the guy he said nikah. Let us see what nikah mean. Yes. Nikah is in marriage by us. It's okay. the contract. All right. We see. Uh, let me ask you then. According to yes, the Quran, hold on. According to the Quran, yes. we, we let us focus on the word nikah. According to the Quran, okay. according to the Quran, that shaitan he have a children. Give, 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 give me your word. I give you the answer of that. But I'm asking, you no, have no, don't to talk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, right on. hold on, hold on, hold on. So shaitan, shaitan, according to the Quran, he have a children. Yes. Did shaitan did nikah? No. What do you mean no? He have to do. He have to do what? He have to. Do because or be, he have to do because God is Almighty and he need his license. Well, hold on, hold on. Shaitan, he have to do nikah. Uh, Christian Prince, I have to say you something. I am not. Um, uh, my mother language is not English, but I try my best. First of all, I want to say um, something else. 
Don't change the topic. Focus, I, focus I, with me. Abdul, I'm Abdul, I'm Abdul, I'm focus, focus, Abdul focus with me. Shaitan, I'm focused on this. Did Shaitan did nikah? Don't change the topic. You just say that. Did Shaitan did nikah? Did Shaitan? Did Shaitan? Did Shaitan? Did Shaitan, did Shaitan uh, yeah, no, there, there's no 10 seconds. There's no 10 seconds because you want to change the topic. I know I know Muslims. They, they, I know their games. Are, we will finish right with this one. We finish this with one. You are the one who, op you are the one who opened the topic. Stay with it until we finish it. So, Abdul, listen. Did Shaitan? Did Shaitan? Did Shaitan? Did nikah? Did shaitan did nikah? Maybe he don't have, but he have to. He have to what? He have to don nikah. What do you mean? Maybe, so so shaitan, look, uh, uh, shaitan get married. He don't have... You look, say marriage. You say nikah mean marriage, correct? Everybody heard you. Nikah is a contract. Okay, but does it mean marriage or contract? Is a contract. So it's not marriage. Is the marriage by us? But no, no, hold it on. is I asked you, is it marriage contract. or contract? You said it's a contract. So it's not marriage. Is it, it marriage or contract? It, it, it is an Islamic marriage. So it is marriage? In Islamic oh, law, okay. yes. So when Shaitan he did nikah, did he marry someone? Maybe yes. Maybe yes. You said uh, Arabic, uh, sorry, English is not your first language. Does that mean that your language is Arabic? This is, uh, this is not my mother language, but I will d do my best. Okay. I think my English is uh, well enough. Okay, but you speak Arabic, right? I um, speak the surahs, the verses, and ah. anything else. Well, here we go. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi, and this is your official government website of the Kingdom of, uh, of Jordan. Oops. It says that Shaitan, he did nikah to himself. Do you know? Do you want to know what I think about the uh, tafsirs and? Yeah, I don't. And yeah, his, what, you, what do you think about tafsir? What do you think? Tell me. What do you think about tafsir? I think uh -huh. not only on the tafsirs, um, on the hadith too. Uh -huh. I think people have um, the people have uh, took what they want, and the uh, shaitan had played games and took their what he wants to distract the people, etc. Also, the same with the Bible. Oh. So you are saying now that all the hadith are made by shaitan? Not all. Uh, which ones are not, not, not made by shaitan? No. Do you know? No. So any any hadith you don't no. like, any hadith you don't like, any tafsir you don't like is so now so this website now and this is Al Qurtubi, he's a satanic person. So what about Ibn Kathir? He's satanic too? What about Al Tabari? What about Al Jalalain? What about Ibn Abbas? All of them are satanic? Hello. Are you there? Yeah, I'm. The, I'm no, Hello. I'm here. You are there. I'm not there. I'm here. You are there. Okay. 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 So listen. Yes. So, so when, not, Mr. You know. Mr. Here and there. Listen. So when Al Qurtubi says, yes, yes. when Al Qurtubi says yes. that uh, uh, that Allah He created for the Shaitan a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh, and then what? he the right and, eye? and then he do nikah by this to that. Why you lie to me and you have say you nikah said in the right eye? His have you said in the right eye? Thigh, thigh, the leg, in the leg, in his leg, the top of his leg. So ah, Allah, okay, okay, leg, Allah leg, created okay, for him, Allah created for him a yes. penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. So then for who? 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 to shaitan, to shaitan. Okay. To Iblis. Maybe he's okay, and then he do nikah. So how you Muslim you lie, you say the word nikah mean marriage if shaitan if in himself did he marry his leg? Is that marriage? I have said what it means. Huh? I have said to you what it means. What does it mean? I have said to you, in Islamic law, this huh. is a marriage, but it is not a marriage in, uh, if you like, um, like a American marriage or a German marriage or what, what, English marriage. What kind marriage. of marriage it is? So is it, it is it like, you know, huh? you can, can you marry a woman for three days in Islam? Yes. Okay. So is that a marriage or a sex contract? It is. It is a sex contract. Okay, so why you call it marriage? Because um, we have to do it; otherwise, it is sin. What do you mean you have to do it? So a, a guy he go to the bar, he find a hooker, he have to do it because he's horny. So you are saying to me that Islam legalized prostitution and all Muslims when they do sleep with women, they call it marriage, well, but it is prostitution. Without uh, the nikah. It is a, it is sin. No, but you just like, said uh, you just said you can you can. I, I asked you. 
Can you marry? Yes. I use the word worry. I use the word marry just to make you happy. Can you marry a yes, woman yes. for three days? You said yes. Yes. Okay. So the purpose of this marriage is what? Three days for what? Sex. Sex. Thank you. So is that marriage really or a sex contract? <laughs> it is something in the middle. Ah, it's in the middle. Like where? Hey, look, I'm not lying to you. I'm saying I know, the truth. I know, no, I appreciate honesty here. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm saying in the middle way. What does yeah. that mean? I mean, is so, the, only so the purpose the purpose of the marriage in Islam is not marriage because marriage have to establish a family, a person. You want to have a woman. They want to have a children. They want to live all their life together. But as you see, you Julius. just agree. You just agree that Muslim they do nikah even for three days, which means you go and find a woman. You see a woman in the elevator. You say to her, "Do you like to sleep with me for three days?" She say yes. You say to her how much you charge me. She said ten dollars yes. ten dollars a day. We have a deal. After three days, when the when the time is up, there's no divorce, correct? Look, CP, that's the reason why we could why we why we gave uh why why we gave uh, money if we divorce. No, no. Here you don't give a. In this case, you don't give money for divorce because you pay in in the front. No, no, no. You pay her. You pay. You no. You pay. Listen, listen, listen. You you make an agreement. Yes, I agree with you. You you pay. You pay after divorce. I agree. But this is yes. here. Here the payment. Here the payment is made in in the front. Uh, let us say you, you can delay the payment. The Quran says uh, uh, pay their wages or jurahun. But this uh, this wages is paid for a woman because she took off her panty. Not because she became yes. your wife. Okay, thank you. And this is why a Muslim, he don't pay unless he penetrate the vagina, correct? Yes. Okay, so if you don't penetrate the vagina, then you don't pay. No, we have to pay. <laughs> yes, we have to pay. To pay. Thank pay. you. So you are paying for what? For using the vagina? We have to pay. We have to pay. We have to pay. If okay. we make a nikah and we... If you, and we if you, make, oh, hold on, uh, guys. Uh, oh, uh, uh, my hmm. friend, what's your name? What's your name? No. What's your name? What? Muhammad, Muhammad. Muhammad, okay, Muhammad, listen. So, if you don't do penetration to the vagina, you don't need to pay, correct? I have to pay. No, according to Sharia, no, I can show you right now. You have, have to, pay to pay only, no. If you divorce a woman before you do inter we, intercourse, you don't pay. I can show you even tons of hadith. We do, we do the nikah. We will say, no. we will get a marriage, Islamic marriage, okay, okay. a contract. A challenge, a challenge in the front of, the, a challenge in the front of all the Christians and all the Muslims. Can you show me the reference that you have to pay unless... I claim look, that you have to do intercourse in order to look, pay. I have right now. I have right now two nikahs. Hmm. You have two nikahs now. Two nikahs. What? I have two. So you have what? You have two women. Yes. Okay. Which one is better for you? Which one is better? Yeah. Uh, real talk. You tell me. I don't like, know. I'm asking like, you which one is like better for other. you. They like each other too. Oh. That is something funny. They like each other very much. They like each other too, but because this is the uh, this is of um, they get um, both um, get in love to me, and yeah, I can't do anything. And, and they and, they, and, they and, say uh, okay. I don't understand the words from what you are saying, my friend. You said they, they like each other. What do you mean? What does that mean? Do you have they sex? Both. Do, do you have sex together? They all both. of you three? Do you, do you have we sex? We have three together all three. Huh? All for all of we all three people person three person have sex together yes yes okay so you you so Islam teach you to have a threesome if they want if you want so do you do that yes. every, every night or some night you do it like have sex with the, both women in the same bed together your connection is, is lost for one second say no, it again my, please okay man it's not my connection it's your mind I'm saying so when you are in the bed with the two women you have sex with both of them what they do yes like they what do, I do because you said they like each other too i mean they, they just play with you or uh, they play with each we other are YouTube, uh, we are on youtube can i think real talk here what can what we get busted. you get busted by youtube if i take real talk here i got busted by youtube why because this is not um underage this is for, uh, for so, a so, okay you don't have to give me details so the women they touch each other you are saying correct they touch each other yes and oh, i okay. teach them uh, i touch them yes Okay, so you like three of you touching each other, having fun, and this is Islamic. This is Islamic, correct? Look, I have I have two left. If I want, I can I can uh, marry uh, one more. Yeah, so you have four in the bed, and they are touching each other, all of you. If Allah wants this, yes. So Allah, He wanted this. If He wants that, yes. Okay, but I'm saying, did Allah He wanted this or no? I think yes. 
I because think, yes. he said that. Uh, so okay, so my, my friend, I I really I really like you, and uh, at least you are different from the other Muslims. They deny the stupidity of Islam and the okay, bad things about I Islam. Let me say you something in the beginning. Let me say you something, okay? Say something. Look, I look, I have seen the debate between you and Muhammad Hijab uh -huh. and other sheikhs. Okay. And what I think is that why of why not one of them are brave and say the truth hmm. look there is nothing there is nothing um moralistic fault in islam so you are saying if you, you are, say you are saying you are brave if you say that if you say that there hmm. is a moralistic fault in islam okay you also have to reject the the the, the christ the Juda, judaism too no i don't have because to. they are not perfect no, too. Jesus, they are you know, the, Jesus, he said clearly that this is absolutely false. This is not right. You know, he said the man, he, you know, marry one woman and they live together. And that's it. That's it. There's, yes. no, there's no such thing. You know, what you're talking about, three some and four some. Secondly, you mentioned Mimi Hijab and you said, what, what why they are nice. not. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why you are attacking, me, why you are attacking Mimi Hijab if you are a Muslim? I never heard of a Muslim. He attacked Mimi yeah. Hijab. When you are a Muslim, you should defend Mimi Hijab. So what's wrong? He is not in my eye. He's not what? He's not a Muslim in my eye. Why he's not a Muslim? Because he not shown respect to that what Allah says because of that. Exactly. He's hiding. So he, he because if he is a believer, he will not hide, he will not lie. As an example, hide. He all Look, every, everything he places, is okay. So you are yeah, saying all placed, those who hide the truth about the Quran, obviously they are ashamed yes. of their belief, correct? You want a real talk from me? What? You want a real talk from me? I'm, about this? Topic? I don't know. You are look, the one who opened it, not me. I say this. I say this. Look, they are not straight because if they are straight, they want to come to me to Syria and live here under the Islamic State. They mm. are they are um, available to fight, mm. and they don't do the Hijra. Mm. And I'm living here. I have done the Hijra, mm. and they don't do it. Mm. And that is not awful in Islam. They have to do it because they can fight. They are not uh, kids, so they are, they saying, are not... So they are saying they are hypocrites because if they truly believe in Islam, they should do jihad and join you in Syria. They have to do the hijrah. They so have to you, do that. Are you a member of Al-Qaeda in Syria? No, no, no. So what are you, a member of what? Uh, I live in an Islamic state. Well, there is no Islamic state. What is Islamic state? ISIS, they are demolished in Syria. Where are you? Where is I'm, I'm living in Syria. So, so, you, so you are an ISIS member? No, man, no, no, no. So what is your, okay, you keep saying ISIS is uh, like Islamic State. There's no Islamic State in Syria. Look, you are not the FBI. You are not the CIA. This is not the question. To, I'm not talking about, uh, don't, don't worry. I mean, nobody knows who you are. I just said you are a Mujahid doing jihad in Syria. Okay, which organization you join? This is not relevant. This is not your business, my friend. So you are a member of Al-Qaeda. But, so, but look what friend. happened now. You are saying Mimi Hijab. You. you are saying Mimi Hijab is a coward. And you don't want to say what you are fighting, you know, beside who? So you are a coward too. I am not a coward. He is okay. a coward. Okay, okay. He's a, okay. He's he's a, coward. a coward. So why you don't tell me you join jihad? Which group? Look, he why, don't, why you don't say which group? If you are a person, look, look, hey, hey, hold your horses. Hmm. He played the game to you, that game that you played to me right now. Hmm. That's not straight. You can do your. Come on, look. You can do your YouTube stuff and you can criticize Islam. You can do all that, but yeah. stay straight. I'm staying straight. I'm just asking you. I mean, you are the one who's attacking him for not doing, doing jihad. And you said that you are here in Syria, Syria doing jihad. You know but you don't you tell me, why? okay, well, what is the proof? Maybe, maybe, you are, maybe, you are a liar. maybe you are a liar. What is the proof that you are now in Syria doing jihad? Do you know why? Why hmm. I'm saying that? Hmm. Because there are many Muslims who's who's watching your video, hmm. and they seen what they have done to you, and they they think they are all adults. They are thinking the same. They are hmm. thinking why this guy is a hypocrite, hmm. and then they think all the Muslims are the same, and no, then so, they get. A, so you are saying those they who try to refute me, they are hypocrite, and you are the only one is not hypocrite. I'm not the only one who is not hypocrite. Hmm. Maybe I'm hypocrite too in one or two or ten points. Okay. That's not the reason. Okay, I, my friend. I try to okay, follow the way. Okay, can you give me an example way. of something uh, Mimi Hijab he did you don't agree with? Yes. Okay. He said, he said like a man. 
He said, um, on six o'clock, we have a debate. Um, if he comes um, or not, the boat will leave without him. Okay. And then he, he have let waiting you for 25 minutes. You have waited and then he comes and then he played games like a little kid. All right. And th that is not that what a man has to do. All right. Okay. That's a hip that's 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 a coward. That's okay. a coward. Okay, uh, uh, Muhammad, I am with you. But he's a he's a coward. He's you? a kid. He's a tit boy. He's a coward. That's he's a coward. He, I'm not he, proud of that. He is a tit boy. I have followed, okay. I have followed him. I have followed him. Because he has done that, I'm not following him. Okay. Anymore. But Muhammad, him anymore. can you bring me a sheikh? He is not a boy like this tit boy, who go around and he he make fun of the hadith of the prophet, saying to Muslim Look, women, "Can you show me? Can you show me your tit?" The truth, I am the best shake that you ever had. You are. I am the best. I am the best shake you ever had. Oh, okay. I'm saying, I'm saying the truth. I'm telling the truth, and all I'm right, not guys, hypocrite. Invite your friends. We have our guest here, Sheikh Muhammad. He is the best shake I ever had live on air. I am the best shake. On. You are what? I am the best shake. Can you show yourself in the camera to see if you are a shake reading? A shake, they grow his beard. Look. I don't wear a uh, shake stuff or stuff like that, okay? Ah, you are shake without beard. What does it have to do okay. with my you mind? Are right. I mean, what does it have to do? Okay, you are right. I mean, the beard would not mouth. make you a shake, but they, they grow a beard claiming that that will make them have knowledge. I mean, Zachary Naik is trying to fertilize his beard for the last 20 years, still he cannot say any correct answer. So, Sheikh Muhammad, <laughs> you are welcome here, and I'm happy that to have you. So, can you tell me what is the proof that Islam is from God anything I, I will not ask you questions you tell me I'm listening yes I think it's the same uh, with the Judaism and the Christianism we all have the book of God but I think people get in there and interrupt it I think there are many truths in these books many truths mm. and you have to see them you okay. have to my friend uh, Muhammad, I, you are a sheikh. I ask you about Islam. Forget about the Bible now and the Torah and Judaism, Christianity. No, I'm, the asking books you, I'm, the same. I'm asking you. No, it's not the same. I'm asking you. Same. No, are you saying to me that it's not the same? Okay, the Bible says that Jesus is God. Is it the same? Yes. Okay. Okay. Huh? But okay. You, are you will to say to me there is nothing? There is all right in the Bible. There is nothing false in the Bible. Will you say that to me? Yeah, really? I will, I will say that to you. Yeah. Can you say the same to me about the can you, can you say the, can you say the same to me about the Quran that there's nothing wrong in no, the Quran? I can don't I don't can and but you okay can. hold on okay so you are you saying can. to me so you are agreeing that the Quran have a lot of errors yes but the Bible has to how, how, okay hold on so guys, okay according to Sheikh Muhammad the Quran have a lot of errors and the Bible have errors too okay because Let us, okay because of, it, see, it is written no. by a man because a man have written it okay Muhammad who is the one who wrote the Quran? Uh, Sheikh Uthman has um, get any scriptures and pull them together. You mean the Caliphate Uthman? Uthman, ah. the Uthman, Uthman Codex. Okay, but do you have? Okay, but do you have? The, but do you have? The, but do you have the book of Uthman? Of Uthman? Yeah. It is the Quran today. No, there is no copy of it. Nobody have the book of Uthman. Not even a single page. Of the Uthman Codex. Yes, most of it. It's the Uthman. If you open the Quran right now, open to page number A. It says that this Quran is written according to Hafs, according Hafs ibn Asim, according to, yes, according, to according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to Uthman, according to the Prophet of Allah. Correct? Yes, according to Uthman. Okay, but Hafs is a person who has existed two hundred years after Uthman. I know. Okay, so if you have the book of Uthman, you do not need Hafs. Yes. Okay, so you don't have Uthman. But if you have Paulus, you don't need to Matthew. No, no, listen. Paul writing, he, he, we don't say that. We don't say, no, 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 hold on, hold on. This is this is a different book. You see, this is a different book. You are mixing things up. 
the book of Matthew like, is not the same as, as no, no. Like the, you see, we have a we, we have a we have a book. You, we have, um, we have a book. It's called. Uh, oh, listen, listen, Abdul. Listen, we have the book. It's called the book of the book, the book the same. of Acts. So no, have Paul, done to you. Paul is not there. His written is in the book of of of, of Acts. So don't don't mix things up. So I'm asking yes. you now. Okay, now you said that the Quran you have today is according to Uthman. But the Quran yes. you have today, it says this is according to recitation of house, not even the book of house, correct? They have all copied it. Okay, so you don't have the book of Uthman because Hafs was exist 200 years after. If you have a copy of Uthman book, you do not need the recitation of somebody. Hey, if, you, hey, if you're saying that, then you can say too that we don't have the book of Allah. You don't have it, sure. You can say that, but I can say you don't have the book of the Bible. No, you cannot say that. I can say it too. No, you can't. And you can don't deny. You can't deny no, it no, if you are. No, no. You see, you see, the the Bible transformed through history and written in many ways. As an example, there's the art. The the, the like Bible preserved by art. Actually, hold on, hold on. You, let, let me ask you, uh, uh, Uthman. Are you a person? Are you like Mimi Hijab, who said that the Bible is corrupted? No. So is the Bible corrupted or not? No, 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 no. Okay. I don't think so. All right. Why? Because there's uh, because there's a thing um, called how they call it yeah this um, thing um, the texture they can um, prove it hmm. and the word of the Bible has minimal changed to the since uh, Jesus has dropped it. Okay, Jesus, he dropped the Has Bible, been... right? He dropped the Bible. He dropped it like he fly My in English the top. Is not good. He okay. fly, he fly in the top of the Christian, and he dropped the Bible. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So listen, the Quran says in chapter two, verse number eighty-nine, it says, "And when there's come to them a book from Allah confirming what is with them." So you are right. The Quran confirming the book which which with us. So why the Muslim like Adnan Rashid, Mimi Hijab, Susu Dudu, Sisi, all of them they say that the Bible is corrupt. Why they say that? Because they are hypocrite and they want to want they want to win a debate. Uh -huh. They want to win an argument, but they don't want the truth, yes. right? Okay. Yes. So, yes. Yes. You, so you are different. You are not going to do what they do. That's the reason why they. Okay, Muhammad. I, I, res I respect. I respect your honesty. Something but it's, like that. But it's still, still, I am not convinced that you really, uh, you know, a person who can present Islam to me, prove it to me. You are a sheikh, as you as you say. And this, is, and, and this is a claim. And this is a claim you said. Okay, this is a claim you said. Can you say the shahada first to be sure that you are a Muslim? I know what you're trying to All say. Right. Like, okay, so I, okay, no. so you are a Muslim. I, I, now I confirm that. Now, you will. You can ask you, me now. How, what this means. how how you are saying? Okay, you are saying you are a sheikh. I said to you. Okay, I'm not a sheikh. I say to you, I am the best sheikh. Oh, you are the best shape. Okay, I, I apologize. I'm the you're... best shape because I'm not a liar. Oh, okay, I agree with you. You are the best shape because you don't lie. Until now, you prove it actually. So let me ask you now. Uh, can you... here we go? We have one thousand four hundred people listening to the best shape. I will give you the best time to make them accept Muhammad. What, how you can do that? They don't accept Muhammad to be a prophet. What is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? And we are listening. Go ahead, Mister Best Shape. Muhammad. Like, <laughs> you are funny, man. Uh -huh. yeah. I, actually, uh, I actually would say uh, because of his word, what he has to tell, because there are many errors, like you said, but there are also that many truths, and we can't know how much the people have, 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 um, destructed around it or in the verses we can't we doesn't know that it's the same we will how, I, 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 how, I don't understand I, I want you to give me a proof you're giving me a speech what is the proof yes. that Muhammad is a prophet how proof can I give you okay give you can you give to me a proof um, of the satellites in the universe satellite in the universe what does that mean yeah, can you give to me can you give to me a proof uh, about God Oh, I approve about God. Yeah, why I can, that's, I, I can, that's, I can, I can. You know, the reason that's the reason why they call it religion. That's the reason why they call the people believers. Yeah, but, because they believe in okay, it. Okay, but I'm asking you now. Can you explain to me why I should convert to Muhammad? Give me a reason to prove that he's a prophet. 
I mean, you call him you a prophet. To, Is he a prophet? You have to born. You have to born as a Muslim. You have to grow up with them. Yeah, I have to be born as a Muslim, so I would like. Uh, I cannot convert to Islam. You can also convert to Islam because of you are not happy with your um, religion as a Christ or something okay, like that. Okay, what if somebody is not happy with his wife? Can he convert to Islam? Yes, of course. Oh, that's a good deal. What about if he have a bad mother-in-law? You think this is a good reason to convert to Islam? He has a bad mother-in-law? Yeah. Why not? Well, Maybe way, he can convert. By the way, as long as you have two wives and you, you are doing nikah to them, uh, you have yes. two, you have two mother-in-law, right? <laughs> yes. How would it feel to have two mother-in-law? Be honest with me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, sometimes I think maybe one of them will get jealous one time and will leave maybe, or, the, or try to leave. Maybe, maybe. But for me, it is very nice. It's very nice, actually. It's very nice. For me, can, it's actually can you, very Can you find me for women? Uh, can, can, can you find me for women? Because I like, I like this, uh, you know, I like this thing, like, you know, you guys are in one room for women. And is, Look, is, I don't have does, content. Does it cost, does it cost a lot of money? Does, is, is it costly? CP, I don't have searched for them. Oh, you don't search for them. They search for you. They both fell in love with me. Well, you must be very handsome, man. I'm not like you. Do you look like Zakir Naik or something? No, no, no. I don't look like Zakir Naik. So why they are I'm, after you? I mean, I'm, if you are look like Zakir Naik, they will be dying to have you. So why they are just... Look, they are looking... What, what do you something. mean they are looking for you? What does that mean? As I'm looking nice, that's not... Um, that's not... Uh, I cannot say I'm looking nice. They found me nice, and that's the reason why they fell in love, I think. Ah, but I, so they fell in love and decided to do Nika. Okay. I have a nice, I have a nice character. That's the reason. Ah, what is but that? I, what is that? Say what is your I'm nice character? What does that mean? That. What does that mean? You have a nice character. I'm always true. Are you always truth? So what? Like, tell I'm me some. Tell me some. To... Okay, tell me something. You said to your wife, you remember a very important thing, which is a truthful. Because uh, I have to say to them both that I don't want to break them hearts. Oh boy! Before I get are married, you, are, with you them. Think, are you thinking of replacing them with your new wives? Can you repeat them, please? Are you thinking to replace them with a new team, like you know, kick them out and get a new two no, women? No, 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 no. No. In the, uh, the, no, from the start I have said that I have said from the start because I was uh, I was not married to them, and then I said to them both, "Look, I don't want uh, to break anyone's heart here." Oh. That's the that's uh, now we're standing here. You both are fell in uh, love I, with I, me. I don't know. And I, honestly, I'm, jeal your... I'm jealous from you. I don't. There's no women like me. I don't know why. The last time I, I will tell you a true story. This is a true story, by the way. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, Last time I asked a woman to marry me, she said, like, what? There's no men left in this earth? This has never happened to you? Like, she did not say, like, there's no men left in this earth. It looked like, you know, you are lucky that they are fighting over you. So, uh, Muhammad, let's go back to our topic. Lucky, I have double stress. Double stress. Ah. I have double stress. Why is that? Man, I have to get to two women make happy. That is double stress. Is it hard to make two women happy? Aren't you strong enough? I mean, if you physically, yeah, it is very hard for me. Oh boy, that's okay. Well, physically, uh, okay. What do you think about the Muslims? They say that the Prophet he used to have sex with all his wives in one night. I think that's not right, man. I don't think that's right. Look, and that's the reason why I said the most of the hadith are. I think they are wrong because they they were written. They have sex with nine wives. Uh -huh. and take only one shower and go around with all of them and plus on top he has sex slaves okay i don't so, know how many so, he has, so, but why, he why, has okay so oh, hold on muhammad that's many so you, that's many okay so the story says that your prophet he go around to nine wives according to what you said and he do boom boom to all of them and then he don't even wash correct he don't even I, actually, wash. I actually think i actually think he have diseases oh he have diseases. I think that Why? because you can't, you can't have sex with maybe fifteen women, and they are all clean. Hmm. 
Actually, you know, actually you are right, you have, uh, Muhammad, women. you have disease because he said that women, they have yellow orgasm. So the women they have yes, he, he slept with, they have your orgasm, which means they are having a sick I think about in, that? In, infection. Would you, know what, would you know what I think about that? Okay, hold on. I have a, I have a person, his name is Aga would Abbas. You, would you, uh, hold on, hold would on. you want is it okay? what I think about is it, okay, is it okay if I join a, a person, his name is Aga Abbas from London? He want to talk to you. You can think, uh, but I uh, want to tell you about, yeah. about that. I think he is thinking that the woman has yellow sperm because of, I think he gets sexual with them. Yeah. And then maybe the woman has a squirt or something like that. And then he thought this is sperm. Hmm. You understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. Is, okay, I, I will. But I think uh, Aga Abbas, he want to talk. Can we can we invite him to join us? I think Abbas is not a straight person to talk with, but you can... Why he is a, why, why you think he's a stupid? I think so. You think so? Oh, okay, so you don't want because Abbas. Because I think he's a hypocrite. He is a hypocrite? Why? I think so. Well, uh, why you don't because tell him? Okay, some... you said okay. You are, you said that you are a brave. Are you willing to say to him, if you join us, that you are a hypocrite? If he is hypocrite, I would say him. Okay, but you just said he is a hypocrite. If he is hypocrite, I would say him. So is he, but he's is he hypocrite or is he a hypocrite or not? What I know is that most of the Muslims are hypocrite. Okay, my friend, we are talking now about Abbas, not about all the Muslims. Take him here. Huh? Take him here. You want to invite him? Bring okay. him. Here. Okay, let us see. Uh, uh, Abbas, my friend, uh, I will invite you here. Uh, give me a second, please. Uh, is Abbas you? <laughs> is Abbas what? Are you Abbas? Me? No, I'm a, Are you Abbas? You do not know who is Abbas, my friend? You never heard of him? Abbas is a very big, big scholar. He's very well known, you know? Okay. Yeah, here we go. All will, of them guys, will, all will, of them guys say. I will invite him and he will join us in the conversation. Okay. Abbas is a scholar, then he's a liar. Okay. I send him invitation, and Abbas now is live with us on air. Hey, Abbas, how are you? Uh, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. How are you? So, I'm, I'm fine. Well, Abbas, you want to call, and you are listening to this conversation. What do you think? Well, I think my Muslim brother may be honest, but uh, with respect, brother, you are an honest fool, actually. Okay. Uh, the thing <laughs> okay. The thing you have said about that uh, is, is allowed in Islam, Allah allowed it for you to have sex with two women. Can you give me a reference to, for, for that? If you can't, then you are a liar. You are not honest as you think. If you think you're honest, then you're a fool. You are not honest because of when you're saying that, you don't have read your book. You, you made the claim. Can you show me where Allah says you can have a sex with two wives in the same room? In okay. the same room? Not in the same room. But that's what he'd been telling you. That's what you've been asking you. And you as a foolish person saying, yes, we do together. They touch, they touch you. Okay. Uh, Abbas, 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 hold on. Hold on, Muhammad, hold on. We, we don't want to have a fight. Abbas, 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 Abbas. I done that. No. Hold on, hold on, Muhammad. Abbas, your prophet was having sex with all his wives without washing. So your prophet was having sex with them, all of them in one house or in different houses. Can I say something? Go ahead. He says both wives together they were doing three don't, 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 Hold on, hold head. on, hold on. Did your prophet, I'm asking you Abbas now, did your mm. prophet, the he's in front of us, did your, <laughs> prophet, did your prophet have sex with them all in one house or in different houses? Does he, uh, he does it in the same house. In the does same, he do it in the same house? Uh, I'm asking you, did your prophet, he did in the same house, he have nine, thirteen women in the house and he have sex with Why well, need to repeat the no, question no, no, no. a thousand times? Prince, you are twisting here. Yeah, you are twisting a Christian priest as usual. Yeah, twisting up. Can you show? Okay. I'm I'm talking right now. Can you okay. let me talk? Say it briefly. Can you let me talk? Don't Just make calm me... down. Calm down. Take a take a glass of water and sit down, please. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Listen, uh, CP, is this hadith saying that he had a sex with uh, one or two of them together in the same house? How you know? It's not. Uh, no. Sure. Does it say that? Okay. Show me the reference. No, oh, it doesn't say you that. See, you look, are the one look, who's making look, a claim. Look what you did. Look what you did. A second ago, you said to this guy, 
you are a foolish man and because of what you said about having sex with your wives in one room in one bed right yes. now I'm, the I'm asking you if there is reference says that the prophet when this hadith happened he did not have sex with all of them in one place in one room no you are the one who's making the claim i okay. say you have to prove that claim okay when I'm, when okay when you I'm, can't when, argue from okay, the silence okay when, I'm, when a man when, I'm, when a man my friend so wrong uh, when a man he do have sex with all his wives and do he go from house to house and he is uh, his penis is uh, dirty it is, is don't that, you always is that, say that, is that what he has nine wives and nine houses do you, you know that they all live in a separate okay, house? Yes, right? he, he have nine houses, but how we know that he did not have a party in one house? Why not? I well, don't that you have to prove it. Okay, you I, are the I, making the claim. Well, you have I, to prove well, it. I have the proof in front of me. It says that he had sex with all of them without washing. There is no way a prophet of God okay. he will go around without washing himself after sex. Okay, really? I, yeah, prove, so, <laughs> prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. So you, okay, hang so, on, hang on a minute. So, are you so, telling me uh, of that? Are you, may I say something? Are you telling me the man when he have sex with his wife, uh, he can't just go out to do anything? He can't. No, I can't. You think I, go I, all, I, this, all over his his, his this clothes is, this and is all, not, this everything is not, will be all mess. This is why we say that. Okay, that's not what I said. I'm saying, are you saying your prophet he used to have sex with women after women, and each time he go out without washing? I don't believe that hadith, to be honest. I don't uh, believe that a second ago, the guy is a fool asking for reference. Look what happened, guys. The second, the second we showed him the hadith, and the hadith is an embarrassment, now he denied the hadith. So you thought to him, show me the reference. Can I, I, can I reply? So now, so, now, so now if he show you a hadith, you will say to him, I deny it too. Yeah, I can to I reply? Let us, give a, reply? Let, us give, let us give a chance to, to Muhammad something. to say something. Go, Muhammad. Okay. Yeah, go on, Muhammad. I have to say something. I have to hmm. say something. Hmm. Look, be brave of your of our prophet, prophet. Be brave of them, and look, you don't know what he have done. I don't know what he have done. We have only the hadith, and that's the that's that what I said. We can't know if there's a if they're all our truth. We can't know this, but I I know this. I'm believing in Allah and I am proud of my prophet. Mm. And I'm trying to do the same as he done. If it's allowed to me to have nine wives, I would do it. May I? May I say something? Go, go I would ahead. do go it. Ahead, okay. Abbas. Go ahead. Okay. Let, let, okay. First of all, you didn't show me no hadith that Prophet ﷺ had sex with his wife in the same house. That's mm. the first point. You didn't show me anything. Okay. The hadith like are Okay. I'm talking right now, Muhammad. Have some manners, yeah. Muhammad, Muhammad doesn't say best of you let, are let those talk, please. who are best in manners. <laughs> Muhammad, uh, don't please. lie. Don't but lie. Please. 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 This is just what makes me angry. Don't what lie. Do you lie. Okay, what Abbas, the hell Abbas, you Abbas, 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 can you can you can you, you know Abbas, 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 can you read the hadith in front of us yeah. on the screen? Can you read it for us? You are a scholar, then, then don't lie. Hold on, Shut Muhammad. God's sake. Um, and Anas reported the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to have sexual intercourse with his wife with a single bath. Yeah. Okay. Does it single say? Bath. Yeah. Okay. Does it say with his wife or his wives? Wives. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yes, yes. So, so they were. They were group. Group. So. So. They so were, they all the, living. The, the, their were, houses were, they were very were close group. to each okay. other. They were, they were all living around the mosque. Oh, man, man, let me let me explain that to you, which you don't understand. Uh -huh. They were living very close to each other. Mm -hmm. So he he How close? done with one. And okay. then he visited the other. Then he visited the other. Oh, Medina, Medina was a small village, so he okay. done the other. We don't know why is here mean two or okay. three. We don't know. It could be two. Okay. So it mean he went to one wife and the other wife. Okay. That doesn't mean they are in the same room like this idiot right. who called so, Muhammad. Do you, and he's telling you. Do you agree with this hadith? Hadith? Uh, uh, Abbas, let us make an agreement. Do you agree with this so hadith? Or, uh, do you agree with this hadith or not? Yeah, this I agree with this hadith. Of course, Sahih Muslim. Of course, What's I agree. Man, playing around. Abbas, Abbas, you agree? Uh, Muhammad, hold on. Abbas, like do, you, Abbas do you agree with this hadith? Uh, Muhammad, come on. I, I agree. I okay. agree with this hadith. Okay, but a, but a second ago, you said I don't accept this hadith. No, no, you're showing Muslim, Muslim Ahmad. You're showing Muslim Ahmad. I'm not sure about Muslim Ahmad to be honest. Ah, so just by changing it's the name yeah. of the book, you change your opinion? It's the same no, story. Say Hadith is more authentic. Okay. More authentic than all, all Muslim right, Ahmad. But... Muslim Ahmad has many Mokuf and many uh, Munkate Hadith. Ah, Say Hadith doesn't, doesn't have many more. This is, oh. these, these Hadith are more Marfu. Say uh -huh. Hadith are more Marfu Hadith. Uh -huh. So I respect uh -huh, uh -huh. So just by. Uh -huh. like, 
like okay. how these people but, quote them. But if you, you don't like them, you don't quote them. Muhammad, hold on. But Abbas, but but Abbas you deny the hadith just because it is in the book of Mustad Ahmad, not because it's not true. That's when you are a hypocrite, as Muhammad said. What, what, what I say, I would not hey, put my Abbas, trust in Muslim. Be a real Ahmed. Muslim. Be hmm. a real Muslim. Alhamdulillah, and stay to your prophet. Yeah, so, like me. See, Abbas, okay. Abbas is not a proud like Muhammad. Muhammad is a proud to be a Muslim, and Abbas is not a proud. Now, Abbas, let me ask you. Okay, did I say that? Okay, Ab 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 Abbas, is, you did, you did, Muslim. Abbas, you did. Hold on, Abbas. So did now, I say that? So, I'm now, not so, so from now on, if that? we show you a hadith proven from Sahih Muslim, you have no obligation. So, Abbas, you're a prophet when he had sex with his wives without washing, regardless if it's one room or two rooms, or maybe in the second oh, house. He was, a, big he, was a, he was a dirty man or he was a clean man? You, you're not a dirty man. He was a dirty man, don't lie. Sex, sex with a nice woman and only Muhammad. one shower? Muhammad. Are you Muhammad. trying to say he is clean? Are you crazy or what? Well, I think you need to take some medicine. Look, hey, 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 look. I have only take... two. I have only two women, okay? And I know what it is to be clean and to be dirty. I have only two. Okay. Tell the truth. Be proud of that. Okay. What is the truth, what is the truth Muhammad? Uh, Abbas, why I say to you, what, he is saying to you, why to you are not proud? Say, let me explain, Muhammad. I say let to me, you what let is me explain, truth. Muhammad. Say what hey, is the truth. Muhammad, hey, come on. Explain. You can't explain okay. what Abbas, is the, Abbas. the truth for me. You about see, why you are not proud, Abbas, of your prophet having sex with all the women without washing? This is dirty. Women want. This is dirty. Okay. Want Muhammad. If you allow me, just sixty seconds. Okay, go, go, go ahead, Abbas. Just, just, just sixty seconds. Okay. The woman loves Muhammad, and they want him. What is false of them? They okay, want him. What is false? You need a shush, brother. You need to just calm down. Take, your, take, take a glass of water. Just calm down, brother. Just calm down. Talk to shit, man. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let me just talk not shit. I'll try my best. Okay. No. Okay. Sixty seconds, please. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead so, so when he says he doesn't take a bath, yeah. that means ghusl, something okay. called ghusl. All right. After after sex, if you do, take ghusl, you are purified to take you do your salah. Uh -huh. But that doesn't mean that if you do sex, that mm. doesn't mean you didn't go and wash your private part. That doesn't mean that washing private part is not a bath. So, uh, for example, is crazy? I, I, is this guy really crazy? What he's talking about? I'm just answering the way I like to answer. Answer, man. Go and shame on you. Okay. Uh, I think he's not letting me speak, CP. Abbas, be careful. <laughs> this guy is a mujahid. He might jump on you. I don't know. <laughs> is, he, is he your disciple? Is I, he your disciple? I feel for your security now. Uh, uh, Muhammad, take it easy, man. Take it easy in the man. Don't be angry. No, 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 I'm, I'm, okay. a, I'm a speaker's it's corner every Sunday. Muhammad, 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 this guy is saying his opinion. Let, let, hey, let us hear what you're going to say. The guys are around of me. All of my friends are proud of the, of the, of the prophet. All of them like this, what he does. Hmm. And all of them try to be the same. And then you come around and say, no one says about that. He's clean. He don't say wash this and this. Talking like a crazy man. I'm just explaining that to you. Wash hair means bath hair. Okay, that doesn't mean he uh, okay, Abbas, like bath. Abbas. That doesn't mean he was dirty. Do, 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 okay, okay, between Abbas, shower and bath. Abbas, 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 Abbas. Shower and bath. You're a prophet. He's not letting us. Okay, Abbas. When you're a prophet, after finish with nine women or eleven women having sex with them, he take a bath. A bath. Where? Uh, no, no, brother. Listen, see, you didn't show me the hadith of nine wives. He no. slept with nine wives. How many women? How many? So, well, you, show, you show me, it says, it says, says wives. It wives wives doesn't wives say plural. It doesn't say some of his wives. It says Nisa'ihi, which means all of them. Does it say no, some? of them. It doesn't say all of them. It okay. doesn't say all okay. of them. Okay. okay, read carefully with me. It's in front of you on the screen. Read it. Allah's messenger would go around to his women uh -huh. with one ghusl. So did he say to some of the women or, or his women? It doesn't say all the women. It says all the women. It, it doesn't say the some. Two, two, it two women, two women as well. Okay, you, 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 you can say oh, well. then you have to say uh, two women or three of the women yeah, or, Abbas, or some of the women. Abbas, you just, just, no. Okay, just Abbas, 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 hold on, Muhammad. Muhammad, hold on. Abbas. Abbas, 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 you are, you are destructing Islam right now. Abbas, Abbas, Abbas. <laughs> you are a prophet. He took a shower. You said he would take a shower after finishing having sex, correct? Uh, repeat that, please. Can you okay. say that again? You said that you are a prophet. He could take a shower after he finished having sex. 
with all the women. No, right? I say that. I say I say bath means ghusl, and after yeah. that you are okay, pure to do salah. So what bath mean? Ghusl. Shower. Okay, shower, right? He shower himself. Ghusl. He, yeah. he makes okay. okay. he okay. make a difference. Where, with where he take a shower? Where your prophet he wash himself after he finish this? The hadith doesn't say where he takes it. He's no, here. the hadith says, here we go. It says he go and jump in water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period. And garbage. This hadith, uh, uh, hang on a minute, let me read the hadith again. Hmm. Allah's messenger will go around to his women. Where does he say that? No, no, it says here, here we go, the prophet taking a shower. Now he had sex, finished with nine women, jumping from woman to woman. And now he's going to take a shower. Where your prophet take a shower? Whoa, 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 whoa. Which, which book is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Book is that? It's, it she says, Mishkatul Misbah, Kitabu Tawara. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Hmm. Now move that, He's move blue. that from me. I couldn't care less more why you book this, put it. Why? Put it the authentic book. Authentic book. Because I'm not like you. I don't think the, 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 the what this guy is talking about non non so, authentic books. So okay. my Islam, authentic books. My Islam so, is Quran number one. Okay. And then Sunnah of Muhammad uh -huh. Then authentic Mutawatir Hadith. Hmm. Then Ijma of the scholars. Not this yeah. like one scholar Abbas. writing a book. Before, so okay. Abbas, so what you if say, it is not Abbas, good, you say, why the Hadith in the website? Learn what does mean to be a Muslim. Yeah. Learn it before you say Alhamdulillah. Muhammad, Muhammad, take it easy. Do I have to say Alhamdulillah every time? Yeah, you have this to guy say is only talking shit. Yeah, you have to say that. You're correct. an idiot, brother. Uh, uh, an idiot. Listen, listen, uh, Abbas. So you are saying to me that this book is not is not telling the truth, correct? Of... Yeah, it is not telling the truth. Take it easy, Muhammad. This is Mishkat al Masabi. Okay. No, I, I, I can't. Yeah, I don't... So you are saying to me that the one who wrote this book is highly possibly he is a big fat liar. No, I'm saying that he's he's uh, not fa infallible. He is prone to make mistakes. Okay. And I would not, I would not put my uh, faith of Islam on some this color totally. I have to verify this hadith uh, okay. uh, totally. I don't, I don't know this hadith, so I will uh, not. Okay. I will not. Okay. Read from okay. This. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. So, if this hadith found in a authentic reference, you accept yes. it? Uh, I I this guy out. It, it makes me angry. It, 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 do you accept? Do you yeah, yeah, you you are already angry, brother. Don't do, worry about that. I don't could, couldn't care less about uh, people Abbas, like do you. I meet people like you. you uh, I meet people like you, you every uh, Sunday. Abbas, Speaker Abbas, corner, Abbas, right on my face. Abbas, I'm very used to it, brother. Abbas, don't do you worry about that. Abbas, if just we, say "Auz billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim." Just say it's there. "Auz billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim." Shaitan is taking over on you. Just say "Auz billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim." Astaghfirullah. Auz billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil alamin. Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yom al-dini. Yakin abdu wa yakin astayn. Iktan astarat al-mustaqim. Surat al-lazina. Nam talim. غير المادوب عليهم بلد دالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قلت برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شرف فاس الله الناس الذي يوسفس في صدور الناس من الجنة فالناس قلت برب يفلق من شر ما هلاك ومن شر غاز كن إذا بكى ومن شر نفاس في لوجا ومن شر غاز دين إذا هزت What are you talking about? So he said, "No, Hazrat, no, Hazrat." He said, "Hazrat." Mash, mashallah, he, recite, he can recite the whole Quran by heart. Well, that's so wonderful. How you can do that, Muhammad? You may Allah, may Allah reward you for that, and may Allah give you sabr, inshallah. Okay, Abbas. Now, <laughs> Abbas, it's time. It's time to get you busted. This is the hadith, and it is Abbas. It, this, this is the hadith. This is the hadith you mention. It is Sahih. I got you busted, Abbas. Okay. Right. It says Sahih. Read it carefully. Okay. Hmm. What book is that? Musnad Abu Sa'id al Khudari. Now, which book are you reading from, brother? I just told you, I am not your brother. I am a Christian. Remember that. You are my brother from Adam. We are brother in According humanity. According to Quran, you are, you are a liar again. According, I told you many times. According to Quran, no, no, chapter 5, verse 51, you, you take not Christians and Jews as a friend or protectors. Okay. Yes, this is what I no problem. No. It's not my it's not my brother. Don't change the topic, Abbas. The hadith in front of you, and it says here. Let me I just let, say, let, brother, let, right? you are changing the topic. Let me go down. This is Sahih. Does so it? He, does he's it, not my brother. Does he's it not say, my friend. Does it say Sahih? Uh, I didn't see the screen yet. Hmm. Does it say Sahih? I didn't see the screen. The screen is still uh, same. The same thing. It's not going down. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay. see it. Sunan Abi Abi Daud. Okay. okay. Great Sahih. Okay. Okay. Sahih. Albani. Sahih. So it is Sahih. Okay. Is it Sahih or not? It is Sahih. Absolutely. Okay. So now read again. I'm just waiting. It's still down. Hmm. All right. No problem. Uh, if you wanted to this down, if you wanted to this on. Uh, you need to move it back up, uh, CP. Okay, I just okay. expand it more now. 
Okay, N- narrated Abu Sayyid al Khudri Razi Allah hmm. The people, um, the, you're moving it. Uh, hang on a minute, did you change it? Is it the same one? It's the same one. Okay. Narrated Abu Sayyid al Khudri Razi Allah The people asked the Messenger of Allah, والسلام, can we perform ablution out of the well hmm. of Buddha, hmm. which is a well into which menstrual clothes, dead dogs, and stinking things were thrown. Hmm. He replied, "Water is pure, and it is not defiled by anything." Mm-hmm. So, how did you how did you bust me? Well, this is Sahih Hadith. You said it's not. No, no. How how did you bust me? You so, say you bust me. This is where your prophet me. he take a shower. Your prophet is a dirty man. He go and yeah. jump. Your oh, prophet oh. he go and jump with dead dogs and women of blood from period and the garbage. It says it's stinky. Does it say stinky? Does it say, does it say, does it, does it say they are dead dogs and stinking? Does it say stinking things? Stinking. Does it say stinking or I'm making things up? Okay. Uh, Brother Muhammad, uh, did you read this hadith? Did you, did you read this hadith? Hmm. I know this. Uh, can you tell CP that this hadith, first of all, it doesn't say after he meeting his wife, he's gone there to so take he, bath. So he did yeah, tell him again. One second. One second, CP. One second. Okay. And also tell CP. That did this, this hadith says that Muhammad is taking bath in that uh, in that well. Hmm. Just tell him, please. Can I see this hadith? It's yes. in the screen. Read it and just tell him. It's in the screen. I don't, Muhammad. I, I don't see the whole. I only see the, see to praise to be Allah. I, no, one moment. Praise to be Allah. The chair. Yeah. He's supposed to be saying that he after having sex with his wife, he went to the well taking bath. Yeah. Yeah. And he take it back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm back. I will give time to I, Muhammad. I, I, we will give time to Muhammad to read it as you ask him to do so, so he can answer. But now I'm asking you: Are you saying your prophet he had take a shower like this before the sex, not after sex? He never take a shower in the well. He, no. ne- he never did. Okay, guys, he never take a shower in the well. Do you swear by Allah? Oh, well, he never. Okay, he swear by Allah and he said, Wallahi. He said, Wallahi, Muhammad he, never okay, took a shower said, where okay. the dead dogs and stinking things okay. were thrown. He never took a shower no, there. No problem. Just, Here we go. Just, All right. Here this is the hadith. The first one I show you, it says, Sahih. Do you, do you see it in Arabic? Sahih. I know this hadith. This, do you see it, uh, Abbas? Does it say Sahih? I know this hadith. Hey, guys, I, I know this hadith. I know it very well. Okay, calm down. Why are you so frustrated? Why is this? Calm down. You know the hadith, so what? Frustrated? I'm not all, only talking now. Abbas, does it say Sahih? Take a breath. Does it say Sahih? Yes. Okay, does it say Sahih? Yes, it says Sahih al Okay, yeah. all right. Is a... No problem. So, does it say here that he did? Hey, this is true. Well, you that, putting, I don't think this hadith is um, hadith is sahih. I don't think that really. Abbas, yeah, yeah, yeah. does it say yes. that your prophet he did jump with the dead dogs, women, blood from period, and he was there? So, so okay. Now, let, can I read it now? Go ahead. Abu Sayyid al Khudri said that <laughs> some people asked God's messenger whether they might perform ablution hmm. after the well of a uh, Buddha. Hmm. which was a well into which menstrual clothes and dead box stinking things were thrown and he replied water is pure and okay. is not defiled by anything okay what does it say he went oh, in there <laughs> okay no problem I'm, I'm asking you why they are asking him that is that because you get worse over the time Abbas, okay let us see who's getting worse so so you, have, you, so you acknowledge you acknowledge that the muslim they were asking him if they can do that there correct yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and you That's acknowledge right. that the prophet he never did that uh no prophet First of all, you must imagine, you say, tell, show me, he says he took a bath. Uh, even they're not even taking bath. Even say, they're saying they need voodoo. You don't understand the difference between voodoo and bath? Uh-huh. Hey, can I say something about okay, that? Okay, Abbas, this yes. is, hold on, Muhammad. This is the hadith in front of you. It says your prophet doing that. Why am I holding on? I know this hadith. Abbas, Let me say something. Abbas, answer. You, 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 swear, taking a bath. you swear by Allah, and you said, wallahi, he did not do that. I say, Wallahi, Muhammad wasalam, never took a bath. Remember, bath uh-huh. in which there were dead dogs okay. and and the menstrual period. But remember, the bath. Okay. I said. Okay, read that. Uh, okay, here we go. He stuck this with the This is going to be your third time lucky. Let's see if third okay. time lucky. You are the one who said you take a ghusl before you do pray, oh. correct? Ghusl, yeah, ghusl. You know what ghusl is? Yeah, wudu. No. 
Okay, what's Allah, the brother Muhammad, brother Muhammad, I know you are very, you don't have much knowledge of Islam, even hmm. though you call yourself Sheikh. Tell yeah. him the difference. Yeah. Tell okay. him hold the on, difference. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm very going by your statement, Abbas. You are the one who said to me before he pray, he have to do ghusl. Uh, after having sex, brother. Okay, but before ghusl. he pray, before night. he pray, he have up. to do. He have to do ghusl. Do he do no. ghusl before he pray no, or no, not? No, no. I, I say after having sex with your wife, okay. ghusl is must on you, and ghusl is not wudu. Okay. Also, is taking the whole path. Okay, I will go with you. So which one is more important? Yeah, you have to go with me. Okay, no choice, but... okay, I will go with you. So, which one is more important, wudu or ghusl? Ghusl. Uh, ghusl is ghusl has wudu inside it, but ghusl is compulsory. Guys, when you did have. You hear? When... Did, did you hear? He ghusl just said, is... Abbas. He just said, uh, uh, wudu ghusl is, is not ghusl. ghusl. Now he just said that ghusl is a wudu. <laughs> he said I didn't say is, that. He said the wudu ghusl is inside. Say... You said uh, wudu is inside it. So when you do ghusl, you are doing both, correct? I, I say, I say, is wudu is. No, ghusl has wudu in it, okay. but wudu doesn't have ghusl. Okay. So ghusl okay. is more okay. Thank you, guys. So when you're a prophet, he do ghusl. When, you when, when you're a prophet, he do ghusl. Okay, when you do your prophet ghusl, he is ready to pray. Okay. So wudu what is, is something you do to prepare yourself to meet Allah, correct? Right. Okay. Read with me Wrong. what how your prophet, he prepared himself by doing wudu to meet Allah. Why are you changing the topic, brother? I'm not changing the topic. Okay. Your prophet, he did ghusl. And ghusl is, wudu is inside it. You, just what you said. This to who you said that, not me. A second ago. So now your prophet ghusl. is ready to meet Allah after ghusl. And where your prophet, he do ghusl? Read. You are well known. Abbas you are read. really well schooled. Abbas read. Brother Muhammad. Brother Muhammad. Very well schooled. Very well. I see Brother it. Muhammad. Very well schooled. Brother Muhammad, can you just tell him, CP, the difference between ghusl and wudu? You just told me Ghusl. in the front, you said that Ghudu is inside the Ghusl, so when you do Ghusl, you are doing both, correct? And what did, you, what, what, what did you say? Muhammad is taking a Ghusl. You said, you said, you said Abbas, don't hide behind no. Muhammad now, don't hide behind him. You said that Ghudu is inside the Ghusl, which means when you do Ghusl, you are doing both. Now the is behind me, no? Okay, now so, the now, so now I'm asking you, uh, asking you Abbas, when you're a prophet, you do Ghusl or you do Ghudu, where do you do it? He do it with dead dogs. This guy uh, is a CP. I don't deal with idiots. You're behaving like an idiot right See, now. See, you are going to hang up around. Does it say in front of you? You said, I swear, you said, I swear by Allah. Everybody heard you. I swear by Allah. And you said, Wallahi, Wallahi, Muhammad, he did not do that with dead dogs. Wallahi, Muhammad did not do that with menstruation women. Wallahi, did not do what? You said, what do you mean that? You, he did I not, that. he did not, did he did not, he did not do. You said, you did not, he do bath, right? Exactly. Okay. There you so, go. So you do wudu to meet Allah, but you don't do bath in there. You know, because bath, bath, you have to do wash your whole body. Okay. Yes? So your prophet yes. was putting in his nose and in his mouth. He was putting in his mouth and his nose and his ears. Water have a blood of women. Dead dogs stink and garbage. Wudu when you requires do, a when you do ghusl, you idiot, you do not need to put water in your nose. You do not have to put what. water in your ears. You do not need to you put water in your mouth. Ghusl, don't do it. Wash now I'm asking you, you when you do wudu, is it true that you, you have to put water in your when nose? You, do ghusl, you don't do water in your mouth and you don't do water in your nose. See? So Abbas, what? you're a prophet. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're a prophet. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're, a, wrong. You're, wrong. you're a prophet. What, is, hey. what are you talking about? You are the best sheikh and you don't even know how to do also. Abbas, you are hiding behind me and okay, five okay. minutes ago you have seen see you have said this. You are not well known in Say Islam. What? Say what? You have talked like you Muhammad, are a sheikh. Muhammad. And now you are hiding behind me. Muhammad, Muhammad, Look. did you do did you do wudu in the ghusl? I know do what is ghusl. No, I do you do wudu? I do, do you do wudu in the ghusl or not? I know ghusl every day. I do yeah, it but every do you day. Do, do you do wudu in the ghusl? Yes or no? Do you do wudu Abbas, in the Abbas, ghusl Abbas, or not? Abbas, honestly, it is, hold on, Abbas, 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 why you are trying? Why? You look, look, look like Abbas. Abbas is like a guy hiding behind and uh, like a statue of Santa Claus with the snow. Abbas, the snow is melting. I'm asking you. When, you're a prophet, you, know? when you, you agree that I'm now you're, with you're, a prophet, you're a prophet, you're a prophet, he did wudu, and he put, when you do wudu, is it true that you put water in your nose? You don't do it. 
Do you put water in your nose? Abbas. Hey, can I say something about that? You only washing uh, Abbas. your hands? No, no, I want, then I, I, no, I want Abbas to talk. Abbas, do you put water What? in your nose when you do wudu? Baby, I told you before as well, I know you like an x-ray. I can see through you My very friend, well. Exactly. Okay, we can talk about x-ray hadith after this one. We will go to the x-ray, no problem. Now, you have to you, give me when you do, when you ask do, a question. Do, why you don't want to answer? Please. It's very simple. I'm answering you. Do, I'm answering you. Do, you do, what do you do? What do, do you put water in your nose? No, to you answer, don't. To answer your question, I don't want you to interrupt me. I just only need okay, one minute. Ahead. I want an answer. Why, why is it taking so long? No, no. Can I have one minute or not? Go ahead. Why you need a minute? Okay. You have for one minute. To... No. Nobody speak for one minute. Is that okay? You have only to say no. Uh, Muhammad, either and you say I yes or no. See? I'm not going to answer why? the way you answer. You are, you are a fool. I can't answer like you. <laughs> I'm a fool. <laughs> yeah, you are. One minute to say no. Huh. And I am the fool. <laughs> Ab Abbas, do you put water in your nose when you do it? This guy is crazy. Okay. I need issue. one minute to answer. Can I answer in one minute? Go ahead. Say no. Very, very important to clarify one thing. Uh -huh. I give you one all, to say no. Hey, shush for God's sake, man. Allahu Akbar. Just say, I was building a shaitan with you. Okay, my, first of all, I must remind don't everybody. Your shit. You keep talking, brother. Mix, don't yeah, mix I'm your shit. Your shit. Okay, brother. I'm shit. Okay. You mix. are, mashallah, alhamdulillah, you are a very good Muslim, alhamdulillah. <laughs> May, may Allah make you a good Muslim. Abbas, Abbas. Yes, first of all, obviously, this is obviously you. Abbas, you are not a good Muslim. Can you recite the chapter of Ikhlas as he recited how, how fast he did? Can you recite it? Go ahead. First, let me refute you, brother. Can you recite, you can you recite the verses he recited like you know, how fast he did? So, you know, okay. so now I'm asking you, when you do, 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 why I need to repeat the question 1,000 times? Do you need to put water in your nose? Okay. No, I, you see, I was I was asking for one minute and I don't get it. Can you just mute this Why guy? Why you Muhammad? need one minute? You need two seconds. Okay. Say yes or no. Very, very important. I will give you. I will give you. I will give you. I will give you ten hours. The question is, answer is yes or no. We are having a conversation, my friend. You do not need one minute. Do you put water in your nose? Yes or no? Am I having one minute or I just hang up? Yeah, no, you hang up that you are. Okay, uh, let me get you, Bastard. Here we go. Abbas want to hang up. Guys, Abbas, Abbas want to hang up. Do you know why? Because no, yes, because yes, this is your Islamic website. It says the following. Wash in the hands three times. I speak to you later, CB. Wash. Uh, don't hang oh, up. Yes, coward, coward. You're a prophet. He put water from. You're a prophet. He put water from dead dogs. You're a prophet. He put water from dead dogs. Women put fun period in his nose and his mouth. And this one I'm, 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 I'm hearing to you. I'm sorry. You you are right. I, I was a little bit emotional, but I talk. Yeah, but you see, Abbas, he, he lie. It says here, you rinse your nose three times. You wash your mouth three times. Which, which water? By the water we see in the screen, dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage. This is why Abbas, he hang up and he run away. I will call. Oh, yeah. Abba, I, will, I will invite Abbas again. Actually, Abbas is still in the group. Abbas, are you, you are... there? Abbas, are you there? Why is he hanging up? He is still. It says he. It says he's still in the group. I don't know. Abbas, I'm inviting you again. Yeah. Why you hang up? So you're a prophet. He go and he claim now he have sex with the nine wives or twelve or thirteen or one hundred. Yes. And now he is washing himself to be ready to meet Allah. What he do? He put water, have dead dogs, dog dogs, and garbage and yes, blood. Okay. So Abbas. So it's proven. We do not need your answer now. We showed you the Islamic website. It says you have to rinse your you have to rinse three, your nose three times and you have to wash your mouth three times. Correct? Why are you call me then if you don't want my answer? No, I want you. Why your prophet he is doing such a thing? Putting water have dead dogs in his ears and his mouth. If I don't have mouth. a chance to speak no, and express I, I, myself. I, I, now, we, now we change the question to sweet you. Go ahead, answer please. Okay, one minute, yeah? Okay. And Muhammad, now, please don't I interrupt want, me. Muhammad, please. Don't I interrupt Abbas. Want to, I don't say anything. Don't, yeah, okay, don't, don't say anything. Let Abbas finish, I just please. Want to, I just want to remind everybody the reason I say, Wallahi, Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam, never took a bath in the dirty water of well. That's hmm. when I say, Wallahi. Uh -huh. Remember, I never say, Wallahi, he hmm. never done voodoo. There's okay. a big difference in that. All right. So that's the first point. You didn't bust me on that. So yeah. I stand on that. Uh -huh. I did. I never said that. And you did not show me any hadith. And you can never show me any hadith that shows that Muhammad wasalam, took a bath in the water of the well with the dirty uh, dead dogs uh -huh. and dirty water was. Uh -huh. So that's, okay. 
that's by the by uh-huh. you didn't defeat on that uh-huh. secondly wudu for doing wudu hmm. you can take a very little water to do wudu or very hmm. even a ha- even a half a glass you can do wudu if you know how to do wudu you hmm. can just you have just have oh. to do take a little bit of water from the side of the well you can even do that wudu hmm. so it's possible to doing from that well from the very side of of the well you take a little bit of water and you wash you do wudu as possible bath is not possible that's my answer okay so but did your prophet he put from that water water in his mouth and his nose and his ears yes or no according to his hadith it says it was said oh messenger of allah sallam, you perform wudu from there yes he did yes okay. wudu, he did. So wudu. Oh, if, he, if he took water from the side of the well or from the middle of the well does it make any difference it's a small well, smell a small body no. of water yeah i know but but in that small body of water you you can okay uh, but let me make it more now let me make it more easy for you but 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 people won't throw garbage in the water they don't throw it in the middle they throw it in the side so your prophet is speaking the water from where the garbage is and even it says that it is stinky even the 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 previous hadith which you agree with it says it's stinky stinky so the water is stinky there's dead dogs and there's women blood in period and the second you put a body of a dead animal you know, there, there's a liquid, there's a liquid come from this body, is going to be float all over in the water. So you're a prophet now, he is putting water in his nose, and water in his mouth, and water in his ears. And what is the purpose of that? To be cleaner, correct? You're wrong here. Let me correct you again. I, huh. I love to educate don't, you all the time. I don't, think, I don't think this hadith is true. You don't no, think no, so. this hadith is this hadith is true. This hadith is sahih. So I'm if not, I'm hadith, not, I'm if not denying. This hadith is true. Then I don't understand why you are talking about half an hour. Half an hour, what? That was a different hadith, brother. We're talking about Muslim and Ahmad. This is a different hadith. I don't think okay. this is true. Okay, anyway, it's your opinion, brother, and you're entitled to your opinion. I may be wrong, but let me correct uh, CP one thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's wrong. Let me educate you. In the Quran, when mm-hmm. the Quran mentioned wudu, mm-hmm. chapter 5, I think, verse 4, okay. never mentioned in the wudu washing mouth and washing nose. Oh. In wudu, there are some farayat, and in wudu, there are some sunnas, nafl. Mm-hmm. In the farayat is that you was, must wash your hands up to, up to the elbow okay. and your face and do masa on your head and masa on your feet. That mm-hmm. is the farayat of wudu. If you only do that, your wudu is valid. You don't have to wash your mouth and neither nose. So this is the answer. It does not apply imply that Muhammad wash his mouth and nose in that water. Okay, Wudu so are, can't you, are you saying to me that you are Muslim Sunni or not following the Sunnah of the Prophet? I didn't say, I never say I'm Sunni. Don't you remember me? I say I'm a Muslim. So you're the Sunni, you're a Shia? I, no, I'm not a Shia. I'm just a Muslim. Okay. Just I'm, a Muslim. I'm, I'm, Quran I'm, never I'm, told me to be Sunni or Shia. Quran okay. says you are a Muslim. I'm asking you, when you're a Prophet, he do, would do. Do he put water in his nose and his mouth? Yes or no? He 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 done, but in there are sunnahs he done many different ways. Of course he done. This is not a question. I don't tell me many ways. Yeah. Like was, was, was Muhammad is is making up things. Either you, this is how you pray or not. So did Muhammad put water in his nose and his mouth? He, yes or no? Yes, he did. Of course. Okay, he did. so you just said there's no way it says he did that. You idiot. So you're a prophet. No, he is, no, no. Hold on, hold on. That's what you do. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, I'll let you finish. Listen, I'll let you finish. I can give you in this reference about how your prophet he do would do. Do you accept the reference I show you that he used to put water in his nose and his mouth? I'll let you finish. I'm asking you now. I'm challenging you. I'll let you. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm going to refute you what you okay. just said. Okay, let me ask let you. you do he even wipe his head with the water? Can I answer the way I want to answer? Go ahead. Okay. Muhammad Salam has done wudu with washing one time mouth, twice, three times, different ways. Hmm. But the Quran also tells us your wudu can be without washing mouth and nose. So what I'm saying is the wudu, if he done in this situation, hmm. it does not say that he washes mouth with that water. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't. So don't imply that because your wudu is valid without washing mouth. So okay. Muhammad so, Salam sometimes done salah separately, zohar and asr, okay. sometimes he joined. Okay. So he done both ways. So by saying that it's not possible that he's doing wudu without washing mouth, you're wrong. Because that means he doesn't agree on the Quran, with the Quran. That's additional things you can do if you have a clean water. That's my answer. And this is my understanding of Islam. Right. But so you, uh, let, us, let us make it more simple. You are saying that your prophet, he don't follow the Quran. The Quran never said you wash your face, you, 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 you wash your mouth three times, you put water in your nose three times. This is the fabrication of Muhammad. 
No, 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 no. So this, well, well, so this is the fabrication no. of who? Because if Allah, Allah, said, Allah. Is, if Allah has said to Muhammad, this is what you do, and this is in the Quran, it says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذْ قُمْتُمْ لِلَى الصَّلَاةِ فَاغْسُرُوا وُجُوهَكُمْ وَأَيْدِيكُمْ So, and enter the, the, your elbow, etc. And then, and you know, and, and then you wipe your face and your head, correct? And your feet. Wonderful. And, you know, and the one of your feet. So, this is what the Quran is saying. So, when Muhammad, he add the three time things, is that his fabrication? And adding, washing the mouth, and washing the nose and the ears is that his own fabrication which is not in the Quran what Allah tells us in the Quran Allah uh -huh. gave us for the what the basic you must do something must do okay if you do something extra washing for example uh -huh. if your mouth is smelling uh -huh. if you wash your mouth and if you think your nose is dirty it dust is there uh -huh. if you if you if you think it's not clean mm -hmm. if you're doing it that's that's not against Islam that's not against uh, Quran but Quran hmm. just give you a boy, uh, just 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 a basic thing what you need to do. Hmm. Without this, your salah is not acceptable. So, uh, is, is the, so is if the, you do is the true if you do additional, okay. so the true details, you do additional, there's nothing wrong with the that. The true details of Islam of of wudu is in what the Prophet did, correct? <clears throat> the Sunnah. Yeah, yeah this, so well, that's why I told you. you okay. No, you no, no, no. So you're a no, prophet. No. I don't understand your question. Okay, you listen, that listen. Again? What? So look, guys, look at this. Look, look at this stupidity. He's a prophet. When he do pray, he always put water in his nose. Is that correct, Abbas? He always put water in his nose. Yes. Uh, I don't know about that. That he always put more water in his nose. Can you show me a reference that he don't? No, but you are the one who's making claim. Here we go. I'm showing you reference. It says he do that three times, three times, three times. He put he, water he in his nose. Water. He put water in his mouth. He sniffed the water in yeah. his nose and he blow it out. And then he wash in his and he wash his mouth and he wash his face and he wash his hands and the elbow. No, 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 stop it, stop it. Why don't you just bring one? Okay, bring in front one of you, read it. Here we go. Okay. Remember, you say always, yeah. Yeah, You're sure. It's recorded. Course. You can rec I, Abbas, it. Abbas, listen. I have an offer for you. I challenge you to be a man and for once in your lifetime. And I'm more than a man. That and you download can have the imagine. video and download the video and post it in your YouTube. I challenge you. Not only that, you go to speaker okay. corner and you play it. Play what? Okay. This video. Play this video. Yeah, I challenge you. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Speaker's corner. There are I more hypocrites. Yeah, they are. I don't have a, I don't have a YouTube channel. Okay, remember you okay, say yeah, all yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, you have your account now. You are using in, in YouTube. This is a YouTube channel. I have a. You don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you can load the video. Remember, right I'm now. I'm looking for the word you say always. Hmm. You just make a claim always. Oh, read yeah? carefully in front of you. Go ahead. Uthman called for water to perform ablution. He washed palms of his hands three times, uh, hmm. then rinsed his mouth and. Uh, sniff water in his nose. Mm. Are you reading from a book? He then washed his face three times. Therefore, he washed his right hand mm. up to his elbow mm. three times. Mm. Then the left one likewise. So it's just very little writing. Mm. Then he passed wet hands on his hands. Then he washed his right foot up to his ankle three times. Mm. Then he left one likewise. He mm. then said, I saw. Can you just put it up, the hadith, please? Mm -hmm. Can you move it up? I can't read the rest of it. It's, it's just covered. Mm -hmm. I just can't. Can you just okay, put it up, I, please? Okay, I, I, I just, uh, you know, did make it down. Do you see it now? Not yet. Uh -huh. Maybe it's the delay. I saw uh, Allah's messenger, Allah's son, performing evolution like this, evolution of mine. Mm. I'm hmm. still looking for the word always. But this is that's how, your proof. It's also, do you see there? It says not always. Where does it say always? So if you're, are you saying your prophet uh, is a man? Okay, uh, are you saying your prophet? Muhammad, you okay, oh, guys, guys, listen carefully, listen carefully. This guy is saying that Muhammad is an idiot. Each time he do, do he do it differently because he forgot, because you do not know, because he's a cre being a creative. So is that how you do do? And now the Muslims are following his step, and you Muslim, you do that now. Right now, all Muslims, they do exactly what is mentioned in this hadith. Is that true or I'm lying? 
I don't like to talk over people, so I just let you fool your I am done. I'm asking everything. you, is that true that this is how you Muslim you do will do today? Yes or why no? Why you always why you always give a speech and then ask people to I'm not or asking I'm not giving you a speech, I just said a sentence. Are you Muslim today? This is how you practice will do. Okay. Now there's something called common sense. Alhamdulillah. Yeah? Stop with the common when, sense. When I want an answer. Why when, always you have to give a speech? When, I'm asking I'm you. Just telling you are right you now, Muslims? Are, are, you speech, Muslims yeah. are you Muslims practicing this? What we see in the screen today, following the steps of your prophet? Yes or no? Allah, Allah has given us a uh, common sense, uh, knowledge, intellect. So yeah, exactly. when I have a, yeah, you have when to I it. have a, uh -huh. I'm just telling, talking, I'm just telling you something. How we Muslims <laughs> should behave, how we Muslims behave. Okay. How we use our intellect. If hmm. I have a half glass, a half bottle of water, a hmm. small bottle of water, hmm. and very little water, and I have to do wudu, hmm. and I say, if it, this water, if I wash my mouth and nose, it's not going to be possible for my wudu. Hmm. So what I do, I do what the fard of my wudu. I wash my hands up to elbow, do hmm. massage on my head, and uh, wash my face, and then wash my feet. If I know the water is not enough. So I'll use my common sense there. Okay. So if any Muslim see a water like that, which is not very clean, but you have no, no other water left, you might be in the middle of the desert, then just do the fryer and your salah will be acceptable. Okay. But if you have plenty of water, you go to mosque, then wash your mouth as well because mouth can smell <laughs> so, uh, and nose can be dirty. Abbas, Abbas guy is, is telling Muslims what, what our Abbas, look, 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 look what Abbas he said. Abbas is telling Muslim what makes sense, what does not make sense. So you are saying it does not make sense that you are a prophet, he jump in the water, have dead dogs and grabbing water from there and women blood menstruation and it is, says it is stinky. And you, this are is the Muslim, and you are the saying to the Muslims, you know, use your common logic, use your sense. Yeah. So you are saying your prophet obviously is a crazy man. And listen, Abbas, did your prophet did that all the time or only once in his life? Which means he put water in his nose and his mouth only once. So, Brother Muhammad, I just want to say one thing. Um, first of all, you didn't show me the word always. Okay, so I refute you again, Alhamdulillah. What is that? Okay, but so, secondly, but hold on, hold on, didn't. hold on. You did not show me. It says not all. Uh, no, no, you are the one who make claims. Okay, you I'm proving it. Claim. Here we go. You must you you pray. You must you pray until now, following the steps of your prophet. This is the proof. Yes, and and I, even and Ali, I do. you pray like that. And, and Abu, I do follow Abu, the steps of Muhammad. Abu, now read. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. When I don't have enough water, I don't have this enough is, water. I don't this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Potato, Abbas. You are always potato. You will never be anything but potato. Read carefully. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is the wife of Muhammad saying, I placed the water for bath. You are the one who said that the prophet he never did take a bath right he never take a bath he never, never take a bath never, after what in the dirty water okay hold on in, in dirty water in no the problem. water of the okay. well hold on hold on hold on oh he so, never he, take a bath in the water with the dead dogs That's okay he did he did only would do correct according to that hadith yes okay but I'm now your prophet doing bath but that is a wudu too correct Say that again. Your prophet now taking a bath, and this is wudu, correct? I place water uh, for the bath of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala uh, uh -huh. uh, for Allah's messenger, uh -huh. and he poured water over his hands. And mm -hmm. what, what are you talking about? What does this has to do with anything? What he did? What he did? Did he? Did he always? Can you show me any reference that your prophet he did more water in his nose? CP, you're you, CP, you're very nervous here right now. You're not making any sense. Make your make a point, man. Okay, I'm making a point, Abdul. <laughs> Abdul, <laughs> listen, listen. I am making the point for the last ten hours. You're a prophet. He no, you're do, not. He do no, you're not. He do who do. And I'm busting with, you all the time. The water, I'm busting you all the time. Wudu, your false he do who do, and you are the one who said Ghusl is including who do. Correct. So when you're a prophet, he wash. He do a, a bath, he is doing wudu. And how the prophet he do wudu? He jump in a water and have dead dogs. And women have a blood from period. And rags. And the water is stinky. And even the Muslim, they say the word garbage, not me. And then he said oh. that the water is always pure. Nothing make it impure. Correct? Uh, may I? Yeah. Shall I say yes or no? Are you, are you correct or not? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that you could say yes or not. 
Uh, no, people listen. Okay. I, I only have, I only have one wife. So here we like, go. Uh, brother okay. Muhammad has two wives. Ab- Abbas, my Abbas. wife is very angry right now because I haven't done my Maghrib Salah. Okay. And I'm going to Maghrib Salah. She said, leave these crazy people alone and just do your Salah. Okay, you want to come back, so Muhammad? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to go. I'll speak to you later, inshallah. Are you going to run now? Yeah, like I did. Yes, I'm going to run. Uh, okay, take care. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you, take care. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a movie <laughs> Abbas's wife is calling him so this is the decency of the prophet the Quran never said put your daughter in your nose Abbas said the Quran never said anything Muhammad he do Abbas said Abbas, he confirmed that Muhammad is the idiot of the village. He do things have nothing to do with the teaching of Allah. And Abbas, the purpose of him saying that, he was trying to defend his prophet. How he defend his prophet? Well, the Quran did not say, put water in your nose. The Quran did not say, put water in your mouth. The Quran did not say uh, uh, any of what Muhammad doing. That means Muhammad obviously is a crazy man. Because a man who follow Allah, he should follow Allah. And as long as Allah he said what you should do, then you do what Allah he said to do when you pray. Did Muhammad do that? According to Abbas, no. He added things is not in the Quran. Allah never said to him, raise, raise your nose three times or one time. Never said to him, put water in your ears. Never said to him, put water in your nose or your mouth. Muhammad is a fraud. And obviously he is mentally ill. Because any human being, as Abbas, he said, use your common sense. And the funny is, the common sense of Muslim disappeared the second we show them something about Muhammad. Lose, use your common sense. Why you want to wash with water is dirty? Well, Muhammad, he live in Mecca. Muhammad, he have the spring of Zamzam. Which water is better than Zamzam, which is poison water anyway? Why Muhammad don't go to Zamzam to wash? Why Muhammad, he don't go to Zamzam to put water in his mouth? Why Muhammad even put in water in his mouth when the Quran never says such a thing? Obviously, because they have a stupid cult leader who fabricate, who create. Muhammad, he saw how the Sabi and they perform wudu. He copy what the Sabi and does. You can go right now and search a documentary about the Sabi and how they pray. It is exactly word by word, move by, by move, as the Sabi and they do. The copy, paste, cult, maker. In the top of the copy, paste, copy, cult, maker, Muhammad obviously is mentally sick. Because a human being, as Abbas, he said, he used his common sense, he will not jump in such a water. I don't know how much you people do enjoy this uh, movie today, but Abbas was the hero, and our friend Muhammad was the director. And I was laughing. We encourage them both to call us next time we go live on air so we can enjoy it and have fun. Don't forget to subscribe and please those who download my videos, don't repost my video in your channel unless you do the following things. First, you tell people that this is not Christian Prince channel. I notice many, there are 14 people saying or claiming to be me. 
If you do that, I'm going to flag you. You are welcome to download my videos, but put in the note and in the video because you are doing editing. In the beginning of the video says, please note that this is not official channel of a Christian Prince. We are mirroring his videos. If you want to go and join his videos, either you go to this link or go to Patreon. And you put that down in the info of the video. Same time, if somebody asks you a question down the video, you, he said to you, speaking to you as if you are CP, you should say to him, I am not a Christian Prince, please. If you want, go to Christian Prince to talk to him, go there. I will not accept anyone not being decent. I give my work voluntarily, and I encourage Christians to use it. But don't be a deceiver like Muhammad. And after we make a video, please wait 24 hours before you repost it again. So people, they can come and watch it, and they will not be confused which one is the video to watch. And then you can put it in your videos, in your channel. You can download the video right away, as soon as it's ready. But don't repost it until 24 hours pass. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I pray that the Lord will open the heart of the people who see this. Obviously, Muhammad is mentally ill. There's no human being have little brain. It doesn't matter how, 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 how small your brain is. He will jump in such a water. There's no way any human being, he will do such a behavior unless he is mentally ill. When Muhammad, he says that water is always pure, nothing make it impure. Don't you know that the sewage, 99% of it is water? So according to the stupid Muhammad, the sewage is always pure. This is the statement of their prophet. But Abbas, he have to go because his wife, she said to him, stop talking to those crazy people. And Abbas, he don't dare to say to his wife, are you saying to me I am crazy too because I'm talking to them? So his wife, she insulted him life on air, saying to him, you are stupid. And you need me to give you command to hang up. And Abbas, he did not dare to stay. He got the order. And the second after the order will be uh, we have a Muslim calling now. Hello? Ah, he hang up. Alright, anyway, today we are done. Call me tomorrow, Suhib. You can call me tomorrow. We are done for today, my friend. So guys, I want to say thank you for being here. Until we see you again, and I feel so. I hope I have I guys just to check on Abbas if he's okay. I hope nothing wrong happened to him. It sounds like aggressive. There's the wife, she's you know, she screamed at him and hang up. You know, I mean, the guy he hang up in two seconds, did not even take him three seconds. And by the way, we always speak about domestic violence like Muslim men they beat their wives. This is not really true. They do beat their wives if they are living under Sharia law, but in Islamic countries. Women, they are the one who beat their husbands. If you go right now and search for domestic violence in Algeria, or in Morocco, or in Egypt, you will not find that the man beating the wife. You will find that the women, they are beating the hell of their husband. Actually, just yesterday I saw the news how a woman, she cut her husband pieces. So I don't blame Abbas. Because the outcome is not young. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. This is your brother, Christian Prince, was serving you for today, showing you how stupid Islam is. And if a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? And we encourage the Muslims who they claim that they have knowledge to bring their sheikh to call me because Islam is very shaky. And as you see, we shake it every day. Take care, God bless and see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. See ya.